Facebook Live got you stuck just like it's Velcro You see it's growing, I can do this by myself though Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow Can't sit and watch us do it Straight out the basement, now it's on the TV, you can view it You go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it Someone turn up the music We love the competition, we gon' rock out till we finish Josh Apparel with the jersey, time to get the fitting They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning I lock in, I don't lose focus, the target, I'm a hit Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Y'all, real ball, we took all the smoke, they know who we are Best not jump the gun with me, it's like coming out of a moving car I come through and set the scene, confident like movie stars Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow Jay Customs, come put him work and he gon' turn it up Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want I cannot be stopped, I catch a body if it's one-on-one I made this my hobby, they cannot tell me what can be done Shout out Ricky, we up in the club, it's going down If anybody wanna run it, let me know it now From Michigan to anywhere, we coming through your town I'm on a mission, who's the best, I gotta take them out Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, it's your boy King and Flay And I'm rockin' with MDC Much love, Josh, I appreciate the opportunity, fam And as always, said I'm out, y'all Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope you got your aim right. Hope you got your aim right. Cause we came in this game time. MDC. Yo. Get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. I'm talking back then. We used to rock out on the cell phone. Facebook Live got you and stuck just like it's Velcro. You see it's growing. I can do this by myself, though. Perfect game with it. Little shoulder and some elbow. Can't sit and watch us do it. Straight out the basement. Now it's on the TV. You can view it. You go against the team. That I'm with and you surely lose it We don't respect the talking We from where you gotta prove it Someone turn up the music We love the competition We gon' rock out till we finish Josh Apparel with the jersey Time to get the fitting They boosting up my adrenaline Anytime I'm winning I lock in, I don't lose focus The target, I'm a hit Get your aim right Get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick It's game night That's a bullseye How about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Y'all, free ball, we took all the smoke, they know who we are Best not jump the gun with me, it's like coming out of a moving car I come through and set the scene, confident like movie stars Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow Jay Customs, come put him work and he gon' turn it up Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want I cannot be stopped, I catch a body if it's one-on-one I made this my hobby, they cannot tell me what can't be done Shout out Ricky, we up in the club, it's going down If anybody wanna run it, let me know it now From Michigan to anywhere, we coming through your town I'm on a mission, who's the best, I gotta take them out Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, it's your boy King and Flay And I'm rockin' with MDC Much love, Josh, I appreciate the opportunity, fam And as always, said I'm out, y'all
as always, said I'm out, y'all. Talkie say going live now. Yeah, just so they know. Uh, they'll know whenever they're ready. No, uh, oh, yeah. Tom seen it. Yeah. So we're still muted. Yeah. But, oh. <laughs> He's, <done. laughs> He's fucking live too, right? Is this live? Hey, yeah, he is. <laughs> noob. noob. Uh, That's great. You ready? Bring us in. All right, guys. What's going on? Nice to see you guys. Uh, here we are tonight. Me and Scott on the mic. All right, perfect. We got a uh, nice little banger coming in here with you. For uh, people that don't know, we got from Lansing, we got George Lane and Kim Wallace. And they're going to play the Jackson guys, uh, Brock, and uh, which is Tom Keller's buddy. What's up, Kev? What's up, Kathy? How you guys doing? Susan? Yeah. Uh, Brock uh, must not know the cameras where they're at. I told those guys they're everywhere. So it's going to be a good one for sure, I guys. Uh, who do you guys got winning? Hey, Stacy, how are you doing? Scott's uh, in the middle of grabbing some uh, food that just got delivered. A little Webster's barbecue. And uh, we're going to get going here in a second. They know the green light's on, so they're just getting their final steps and uh, getting ready. Of course, the food comes right as we go live. I would have... Hope to eat before we went live, but whatever. How we doing out there tonight, everyone? We got Kev saying let's go, and then we had uh, uh, Susan definitely laughed about, uh, I think I'm pretty sure she laughed about Brock taking his shirt off right on the stream. Got the freight train in there, ready for tomorrow with uh, Topsky. You know, we're looking forward to that one as well. So, What's up, uh, Dan uh, Taylor? Some of our regulars in there. See Stacy and Kathy out there. Katie, of course. How we doing, ladies? We all thank you for John the likes. In the house. Thank you for the likes and the shares, Chad guys. Out there. So we got the uh, the PayPal and the Cash App pin today. So any uh, donations that come in today, besides being uh, if you didn't see the post, besides being entered in the uh, December tenth drawing for the ten prizes, we're also going to do a uh, set of darts giveaway tomorrow before we go live with the. Uh, with the Grudge Series final, so anybody that donates tonight will have actually two chances to win off the same one. You get entered into both drawings, so appreciate anything you could do to help. It's uh, what's up, Andrew? Thanks for the like. Thanks, Carol, here. Carolyn, for the uh, the like. We appreciate you guys liking and sharing out there for us. Michael Boone, how we doing out there? Thanks for the like. What's up, Mikey? Yeah, John. I know we got barbecue too. We, you know, we, we'd like you guys to deliver the barbecue, but you're kind of far away. Danny says, go George and go Kim. So appreciate appreciate seeing the fans coming in. Kev says, yes, sir. Pumped up. I'm sure he's been on the practice board. We know uh, freight train means business when he pulls into the station around here. Thanks for the like, Crystal Stevenson. We appreciate you out there. Day Day, thank you. Derek Minton's out there. Thank you, sir. Amber says, Team Keller. So good luck. Good luck on that. Rocky, check in. Our guy out there. Thanks for the like, Rock. Already 40 viewers early here, so appreciate Listen, you. They're, and they're boshing out already. They already started, ready to go. That's already yeah, back they ain't messing around. These guys, this is about as happy as we've seen a group. They came in ready to go. Yeah, all, thanks all for the smiles. like there, Randy. We appreciate you. So, uh, yeah, I definitely think we got a good one coming here. And uh, race to nine for anybody that's new. I see some new names out there. So, the, it's uh, best of three sets. We got Max Cogswell out there. The old Max, the OG. Mac in there. Running, how you doing, man? How's everything been going? Hope everything's go f good for you. Nice to see you. Thanks for uh, thanks for being out there. Greetings from North Pole, Alaska. Thomas says, "How we doing out there?" We got an Alaska Thomas. one. All right, yeah. like, let's go. Appreciate that. We appreciate so. everybody. Absolutely. We see these guys starting off pretty solid. Thank you for the like, Tyler Little. We appreciate you. See a lot of new. Uh, S score show time having a win already yeah i had that i had the set uh, i forgot to s clear the set scoreboard so. we appreciate you kev
Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I could probably go down there and tell them about the stacks to see for the averages. Absolutely. Yeah, if they want to. If they want. Yeah, I'm gonna go down that. there real quick. They, they, yeah. Gonna, yeah, yeah okay. What's up? We actually call him Heim around here, but that's cool. That's cool. I remember I said that the first time uh, I saw his name wrote down on the freer sheet, and I was corrected. Uh, I've got him right ever since. Another uh, North Pole, so appreciate y'all. Sending love from the North Pole out there. Chris down there giving, uh, normally we normally we have an official down there setting the board up, but today Chris was up here working the mic with me, so nobody down there to help set up the boards. Matt Cogswell, I'm sorry to read that about the passing of your wife, so sad news. It's terrible to hear that, so I hope you're doing the best you can. Holiday season probably makes it a little worse, to be honest. So, sorry about that. We got uh, a lot of fans kicking in on both teams. You got no, you guys don't mind getting it, uh, the share, the stream liked and shared out there. Get uh, get this out there on this Friday night and put some exposure for out, these guys out there. Maybe get a few other people in. Uh, jump into the giveaways and donations and stuff like that we uh looking forward to uh to that tonight see how that goes for those of you that didn't know the the barrels to choose from we have uh we have dan Berg uh barrels we have the alex spellman and we also have the bearded dark guy jason watt barrels we have soft or steel tip you're the winner's choice so Check that out if you can. We see our first nine mark of the night as Georgie throws a nine mark on a 16s, and we'll get that clipped. Add that nine mark to the count, and we are off and running. So good stuff there, George. Man, it sounds like Chris is coming back up. He told, gave Kim the instructions. I, I, if I had to guess, Kim probably plays the most soft tip out of these guys down there. I don't know... Uh, uh, it's first time meeting Brock, so he may play a little bit, but I think uh, Kim probably plays the most, and honestly, he doesn't really probably play a ton of soft tip, to be honest. Oh, look, there we go. Derek Minton says his MDC jersey came in today. Needs to get back in the basement so I can run it. Nice, nice. I like the sound of that. Absolutely. Yeah, we. Uh, I heard we got the big order in, so Josh got some of those shipped out. So some of you guys that order them, they're uh, – Anastasia said Dad's the, the, that's Brock's daughter, I guess. That's oh, nice, okay. nice well, to see you. Welcome in, Anastasia, and uh, good luck to your dad tonight. It was, uh, we're happy to have him here at the club. and uh, Those likes are rolling in. Got looking forward to seeing how he does here. Evan, thanks for the like. I don't know if you said Matt. Iceman's out there liking us. Iceman's my guy. What you up to tonight, Matt? How we doing? So All these right. guys are uh, shooting pretty good here. In a, a team uh, average of 4.20 versus a team average of 4.70. And uh, first game is uh, definitely um, off and running, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a, a definitely good match right here. Yeah, Looking let's, forward uh, to it. Let's cheer these guys on and hope that they uh, hope they can uh, deliver. And uh, what's up, Sal? Thanks for the like. We appreciate you out there. Careful with that on that yeah. side of the bar. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want no smoke coming from the cute. Computers. We got Katie out there too. The normal white lady. She's taking a little pajama break. She says that she's tired of seeing me in my pajamas, so she's staying home in her pajamas. Oh, this man says he's chilling for now, but thinking about jumping on the grand board in a little bit, so never a bad way to sip, spend an evening. Mm. You know, for George coming in saying how he hadn't played soft tip in four years, uh, I'd say he's off to a pretty good start. Yeah, he's doing all right. And Anastasia giving a shout-out to her dad. Not sure if uh, he's... One of the players that does read the comments while he plays. We do see that sometimes. Nice little shot from uh, Tom right there to solidify a 56-point lead going into the bullseyes here. Derek said he's looking to go in after Brandon Lee and Jake Vargo, huh? Have they played each other yet? Is that a match that's happened before? I don't think so, no. Um, That'd be a little good match right there. I could see that being a solid match. 
I mean, we don't normally let the guys that take L's come right back up, but I mean, I guess. Coming off an L is kind of hard to kind of hard to call the shots, but you know, we'll we'll see what we can do for you. Uh, we're messing with you, Derek. Kind of. We call it rise and fly around here, you know. Winter stays. One bullseye right there. Oh, big shot right there. Little hat. Get him. Get him closer to. The... There's still f four bullseyes out, but then the two twenties. Let's see what happens here. Goes right after the hat, most likely. Tom, one of the better bullseye shooters we see here, is uh, pretty big blocker though on that that first dart. We got Dan Taylor with a thirty dollar and seventy nine cent donation. I'm not sure how we're gonna put that uh, seventy nine cents to. We'll just give a full one, right? Oh, we we yeah, yeah. we'll get him in there. Yeah, yeah. thirty thanks point for, seven thanks nine. For the we shared, appreciate you, Donald Polar. We appreciate you out there. We like and share it out there. Brandon for us. Lee was quick to see that comment say he don't want that smoke. We appreciate you guys out there. Maybe that's uh, Mad Dad is the one with the booth on the back of his shirt. Nice. Uh, that's perfect. We appreciate Anastasia. Huh. Dan says, oh, well. Pre maybe he's predicting the first <laughs> 01 average for somebody. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Seven, yeah. Nine. You know, that's something you could see. Is uh, I remember uh, Mike <laughs> Patterchuk did that the one time. He said uh, Yancey's average the next game is what, how much I'll donate. And credit to Yancey, he shot like a 35.8 that game. So oh, nice. So we got nice. a pretty yeah. good donation out Yeah, of it. that's nice. Don't forget, speaking of donations, anybody that does a donation tonight's in the 10th uh, drawing, and we're going to give them an opportunity tomorrow to win a set of uh, the darts that we have out. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and uh, we're looking forward to that. So, Oh, Derek's calling out the th 200 a man. We might have to book that for a 200 a man. That's a pretty big... Uh, Pretty big stake yeah, right there. Yeah, we can see that. We can see that. Yeah, absolutely. That makes that makes it definitely interesting. Now you got it. Derek. Derek knows how to get our attention. Throw some big money numbers up there. It was an old one average. Dan said I donated my old one average. So oh, awesome. That's where that came from. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks for the like out there, Shane. There's Jake Vargo out there too. Matt Schmidt. We appreciate you. Damn. Oh, Kev, Kev says I'll Pulling back in it. Behind it. Oh shit. Matt Schmidt checking in. What's up, Schmitty? So we got there. We they take the first game right. I, there. I got uh, my normal scorekeepers uh, having a jammy night, so I'm waiting for Chris to. Oh, right, Tom Keller Booth got that. Correct. All right, Correct. All right. Jake Vargo must have seen it. He's in there. Let's run it. He says. So. All right, let's do it. We we'll have to set up a time for that. Danny, thanks for the like out there. We appreciate you. Fifty-six viewers in early, so we appreciate y'all. And again, if you haven't liked or shared the stream, please do so if you don't mind. Carol Reynolds. Twenty dollar donation, so we will get you in, and uh, the yeah, every every five dollars donated tonight gets you five entries into both drawings, so you can win tomorrow, and you have another shot to win again on December the tenth. Where Day we Day's, have, Day Day's watching that little uh, bet going through there. He is. He probably wants some of that smoke. Day Day and Sloan coming off a nice win. There's another nine mark. We'll go ahead and clip that. Nice. That's what we got Add it to the list. So I forgot that's my job. The nine marks. But yeah. I, but I was out for the first one. I I got you though. You see, it's yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think I missed one. What's up, Jamie? I, I always call him Jamie. It's, I know it's Jaime, but it's fun for me now. How's that? How's that ring going? Daniel Killian checking in. Thanks for the like out there. Appreciate Keith LeBlanc, you. we appreciate you too. Thank you. Jaime looking, and maybe he's thinking about getting a new set of darts. Maybe he's thinking about tippy toeing into that. Uh, into the raffle as well, man. That's uh, that's that's pretty tempting. If you've seen the new dart case these days, we got it stocked up pretty nice. We man. almost need a camera on that thing. A little, make a little camera to shoot over to that too. Why the not? Inventory's right? uh, changed around here. We got we got uh, we got a pretty good case going over there. Getting ready to restock some of our flights and stuff. Have been uh, selling pretty quick, so we have to stock some of our flights and stuff. But it's nice uh, for the players to actually be able to get supplies on 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 hand and. Uh, keeps yeah. people coming uh sometimes they'll pull by during the afternoon just to pick something up so yes yeah, just for the guys that are here normally you know it's all we're looking for is to help those guys out need something on the fly we got it i was wondering if one of the guys who steel tippers tonight would have to buy soft tip darts like man do these guys even have soft tip darts all right these averages are pretty smoking right here kim with the five i'm sure i think that's tom with the five five yeah as you can see they they uh they did split the averages now Appreciate you out there, Dan. He says, hey, everyone, you know, donate if you can. That's what uh, keeps the stream running, and that uh, is 100% the truth. That's how we operate around here. And yeah, 100% of it goes back to you guys for sure. We try to give it all back to all the players coming in, even the donations and all that stuff with the giveaways. We really appreciate it out there. 
Yeah, whether it goes into a tournament payout or towards um, gifts for the next month's giveaway and stuff like that. So, way to go, brother. We're home rooting for Brock, says Brittany. Oh, she's talking about Robin Hood, that right down the middle. Well, right down the middle. Just make sure he breaks his dart. Don't Robin Hood the real way because then that, that, that dart doesn't count. Yeah, you mm -hmm. definitely wanted to be in there touching the board. A little unlucky on that third there. Yeah, it looks like it was in there, but it bounced it bounced out and says nothing. A couple 17s to get himself back in this. There's a big last Finds dart. a third dart triple. That's huge. Yeah, we got a couple of I've never met Brock. He wanted to come in here, though, and uh, show his, showcase his time on the stream. And you know, obviously with Tom, we would definitely give them that match. It's a... Uh, I tell you, since since we got Tom here, Tom definitely is big on, on bringing new players, new viewers, new everything to the stream. He uh, he promotes the game really well, whether it's what he's doing out there in Jackson with the, some of the series he's created and stuff that he runs, and yeah, we we got get really... new players in here, get new viewers in here. So Tom Keller's uh, he's done a lot since we met him, and uh, we we really appreciate that. Yeah, Sandusky Steve's out there. Thanks for the like. Uh, uh oh, shots fired with Dana and Katie here. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Dustin Anderson, what's up, big dog? How are you? What's going on, Dusty? Yeah, Tom and Kathy are definitely huge supporters. We really appreciate both of those guys out yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we definitely shouldn't leave Kathy out of that statement because Kathy was the one that found Tom for us. Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She right. was like, hey, we told him about it and uh, got him in, so... Yeah, this is some uh, this is some really good quality darts right here. It's what we expected to have happen too with these guys, the, the OG Steel Tippers coming in, trying their hand at some soft tip. Big, Big round shot. from Georgie there. Right. I would have to say Tom's played the most here. Kim Wallace has been here a couple of times. I believe this is his third or fourth visit. First time for George, but I've played probably the most with george of all those guys down there but not right. even close to be what's honest. up chris warren we like th thanks for the follow and welcome to the page we appreciate you if you don't mind going liking and sharing it that'd be great get out to some more followers big last start right there to take a commanding lead with the points yeah just protecting his lead there yeah A couple bulls right there to get back into it now. Yeah, keeps himself close. And now uh, let's see if George can finish this out with a couple of bullseyes here. Maybe even with just one dart. Yeah. Chris Warren says that your basement, bro. Absolutely it is. It is the basement for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice little setup. I mean, in the middle of the match, in between a game, we'll show you if you're still watching. We'll show you the back view so we can see the most, uh, you know, what it's, what it's like over there. Everything from the back shows pretty much everything. That's my favorite camera shot. Yeah, it's changed a little bit since Chris has, Chris has been here. Chris has been in the basement a, a few times. I don't think he's been here in, in a while, so uh, he probably hasn't seen uh Big hat all trick the right there. Get get back in this game. But Kim only needs one bowl to win this one. Yeah, you would expect this to be over right here. At least I would. There, there it is. is. One dart, so we're all square at a game apiece. Big averages right there. Kim with the big 4 5. Yeah, everybody's shooting pretty well there. The key is right keeping that p same pace for the whole the whole set. That's the tough part, right? And you feel like most of these guys are going to start the game pretty well. All of them with the the steel tip background usually signifies they're all pretty darn good at the trip twenty, as we've seen. And most of these games have started with just like that, a couple of darts in the trip twenty. Says he was here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I guess actually it wasn't that. It was longer than a couple weeks, though. I think it was. It was might have been two months ago. But yeah, he was definitely. Uh, he was here. That's right. I forgot he come by and uh, pick something up for his brother. Oh, Eddie. perfect. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, he's been around. Big last dart right there. Kind of bounced out, but it was right in there for the nice six. Appreciate mark everybody jumping in and getting uh, the looks like the shares and likes going pretty well. So thanks to everybody helping out there. So far, the match is uh, pretty good. Off to a pretty good start, in my opinion. Couple, uh, couple of holds so far, I believe. Uh, the player one won both the games. Time with the big. Here comes a little white horse. Little white yeah, horse. Let me ride that pony. I'm gonna clip that up and. Uh,
Hopefully, uh... Jordan's going the old steel tip way right to the bullseyes instead of the 16, too. A lot of steel tippers to grab that bullseye first over the over the number. The old mind games from the old chiseled veteran down there. I like it. Yeah. Oh, bounced in there. Uh, one match tonight, but it's best of three sets. So we'll see a lot of darts tonight. This first match is race. The first set is race to nine, all cricket. The second set is race to nine, all five hundred one. Open in, double out, and the bullseye is split. If it does go to a third set decider, we will play uh, race to four, and it's combination set where they'll play both games. So we appreciate the like out there, Jim Huskin. I appreciate you. Thank you. How we doing out there, Jim? Couple yeah, of double bulls. Look at us. Six seven from Tom to Tom get a nice hold there. Straight fire, single seventeen, double bull, double bull for the win. Yeah, and his partner backing him up with the four point five. So big game from Tom and Brock. Right. Georgie's gonna start here and I'll look for that trip twenty to be in trouble again. Justin out there sharing for us. Thank you. We appreciate it. Big seven. Can we right see there. another game. See another game starting with a couple of trip twenties. Daniel Killian asked where are you guys streaming from. There's uh we're just in my basement here out in Taylor, Michigan. So a couple of the guys come from a little ways away. Uh we got Kim and George come from the Lansing area and uh Tom and uh Brock are here from the Jackson area, so it's nice when players are willing to drive and pull up, you know, and uh if you build it they were come they will come. Absolutely. These as guys we like uh... to say. As they, as you see right here, they're they're not they're not uh, disappointing either in what they're throwing. Yeah, they, they plan on coming and spend their Friday night with us, and we appreciate it. Crystal Stevenson getting in on the action. Appreciate you with the twenty five dollar donation there. So, good we, luck in both the drawings there. Crystal, one of our faithfuls, she's always a big supporter of the stream. Looking forward to actually getting her out here. We've been trying to work on setting up. Uh, when we get some mixed in action, get her and Tony in uh, in here mixing it up with us. So, yeah, that's one of the things we got to lock down is just the mixed mixed, mixed event. events yeah. are going to be our, one of our first main events in season two. As soon as the January once we once we turn the first of the year, we're we're going to get uh we're going to get the mixed on and popping. We just have to. Oh, tough darts right there. Didn't really hurt him too bad, but hot rod won. checking in. What's up, hot rod? What's up, Rand Rodney? How are you? Ah, uh, Jake says put him on the waiting Look at, list. There's uh, the kid. The kid says they put that pressure to... on that 200. Uh oh. Oh, the kid ain't worried about that. He was he he can he could sling him. He's uh he's a veteran around here. Don't let this young age fool you, man. He's uh he's played as many darts here as almost anybody. Max Brown, thanks for the share out there. Appreciate and also you. the like also too. We appreciate it. It's a good back and forth battle here. A little bit, the numbers a little lower, but these guys are still back and forth. And there she is. Well, speaking of our favorite supporters out there, Candy or Mama, as we like to call her around here, Katie's mom checking in and uh, always showing love. And Candy, just so you know, we uh, your uh, your light came in today. We got it. Uh, oh yeah, we do have that for you. There's the OG guy right there. In the, the unholy the one himself, yeah. Abe Smith, in the building. Nice to see you, Abe. Thanks for the like. Left eye. I talked to him. I, I think it was today or yesterday. It was probably yesterday on his way to Cornhole League, I believe. He said uh, he's at league trying to watch a little bit. So appreciate you out there, brother. Nice to see you there, Daryl. Another one we got to get back to the club here. It's been a while since we had old Daryl down here. Absolute candy. We appreciate you for sure. A little, little five mark to get back in there with a little 38 point lead. And uh, they got the 20s, to 18. So back and forth here. Yep. Let's see what George does. I look for him to go trip 20 first start. Do you move after that or do you stay there? Yeah, two singles. You know, why not? I would have probably, if I had I hit the triple first start, go ahead and close it down. Especially coming from a steel tip background, I think that's more of a steel tip mentality type of play. Yeah, thanks for the like out. Thanks for the share out there, Hex. Four four zero checking in. What's up, my man, Hex? Big first dart from uh, 
Mr. Keller, look at him go here. Look yeah, he came to play darts today, didn't he? Little clip it right there, little A-mark clip it. today, didn't he? We'll yeah, take he that A-mark. Kind of glad that, that I, uh, Day Day, how you feeling it out there? Thanks for the share out there, Hex. Roger. Roger Gerbin's out there. Thanks for the light. Kenny Roberts. Threw us the question mark. Roger, thanks for the like as well. So some new names popping in today. We'd like to see that. And I guess that happens. We get new players in. We probably got uh, family members, employees, all that kind of people you work with and stuff. Checking it out. Chris Warren asked, can they hear you call the match? Uh, no, they they can't. They, uh, I mean, there are players that uh, listen in their ear AirPods or people that turn it on down there. But uh, these guys probably aren't listening, I don't think. I don't today. think so. Uh, thanks for the like out there, Paul Otto. We appreciate you. He's got a big big tournament tomorrow if you guys aren't doing nothing. Yeah, that's the place to be tomorrow. Santa Shoe. Johnny B. Goods over there. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve, sorry to disappoint you with the carryout BBQ. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't have you over here. I mean, I guess we could put our order in every stream if you want. Oh, Candy sent some more money. We appreciate you out there. Appreciate you, Candy, and good luck at both drawings. I, we all know what what uh, Candy's going after. She wants to she wants to get back on the stream, Candy. Yeah, yeah, but she also wants to get in there for them damn Burke darts. So she's uh she's in for tomorrow's too. So she's yeah. already in the other one for sure. She definitely wants them damn Burks and the stream. So she's uh she's trying to double dip here. Hopefully, get them damn Burks tomorrow and then still win the stream on the tenth. Yeah, we know you're messing with us, Steve. We, we, we believe me. We we appreciate your barbecue more than anybody else's barbecue. Yep, and thank you for that generous donation, Candy. As she threw a fifty dollar donation tonight to kick things off from her end, so appreciate that and good luck in both of the draws. Thanks Look at the Tom just working the corners. Yeah. Thanks for the like and share on Steve for us. We appreciate you out there. I think it was Michigan Avenue the way he's working them corners. Yeah, over there, absolutely. Man. <laughs> Big shot here from Kim. The old free or darts day for for any of y'all that didn't play with us in, in the old days that are, or or see our old streams from the free or darts page. It was down there, down there on the Ave. So a little trouble for Brock here, which is going to create opportunity. Thanks for the like, Carol. Steve, don't be teasing us with that. Listen, I, I'll, I'll I'll message you my address. Just ship it in a a, a cool a cooled box, and I'm good to go. Absolutely. Let's see what George does here. Big dart. Oh, and he finds a double. Great shot from the veteran. That is a huge shot right there. Puts him up. Puts him up it twenty-one. May, it makes it keeps Tom honest here. I mean, you got to go eighteen first now, and it's only ninety-two with one. So yeah, the triple's huge. He's just going to stay, stay there. Is he going to stay all three? He, yeah, he does, sure does. And he finds a seven piece. That's a huge dart right there. That puts him at, they need five to get to get clear on the points. I'm even going to put the crying emoji on Steve's cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Because exactly. it's just so delicious. It is very good. So, so what do we got here? He's got a chance to win the game right here. Three bullseyes. Yep. He's going to stay, it looks like. Yeah, and he, he does. does. He gets two. So this is not so game still, shot? No, yep, no game shot because he's still got three bulls and then the two uh, the different numbers. So you just just pound the bullseyes and stay there the whole time? Now double bull for the lead. One Got to stay now. Make so that. George having no trouble with the bullseye today. I'm going to go ahead and clip it just to, just to make sure. We get, uh, get Georgie in there. And we've yeah. got a bunch of clips the way it works. John, thank you for the generous $50 Big trip donation. 18, first start for time again. Bullseye for the win. Uh-oh. Ooh, tough dart right there. Yeah, that second dart was a little bit of a blocker. So double bull first dart will give Kim a game shot. Let's see what he does. Without the double bull, I feel like you have to stay all three. Yeah. Yeah, you can't move if you don't hit the double bull first. Two darts to get back into it, but an 18, one single 18 puts them back in the lead. Single, single takes this game. Yeah, I, I think this should be game. This should be ball game here. Even if you just... Ooh, ooh tough two darts. 
So now the game shot's gotten a little easy for George. Easier, I should say, as he uh, has not had any trouble at all with the bullseye tonight. Let's see if he can continue that and find it with his first dart. Give himself a chance to steal this leg. Good first dart. Does he go for it? No, he just stayed there. He elected to stay, which means he'll stay all three. If you if you're gonna stay on your second, you don't leave it all. You you have to make that that decision. There's no reason to stay once and and then go for the. Yeah, 18, no, it so. makes it harder for him. He's got to hit t a triple and a triple two trip or five of the 18s. Tom's been living in that trip 18 all, but he needs one now. Yeah, he gets it. So single bullseye again will create a game shot. Let's see. Big okay. first start. Kim's go going for it. For, yeah, I Kim promise you, Kim's going for it. And he's triple 15 will win them game. Ooh, George in the background, a little, like, a little pump excitation. Yeah, he was. Uh, he knew the situation. One bullseye for the win. He took his hat off. Ooh, tough darts. Now it's bullseye trip 15 for the win. Probably just a little early nerves with Brock. Just got to settle in. First time on the stream. Probably a little excited. Knows he's got his family and stuff watching. So, yeah, absolutely. It's we saw him warming up. Brock's uh, Brock's gonna big double right there. Tough last dart. So now trip fifteen will yeah we'll get give him. you the lead. Yeah, we'll give him seven twenty two. But it has to be a triple. He's got to stay there now. For a 17 point Ooh. lead. So now uh, three three singles, three single 15s, and this game is over. It's a tough, that's a tough loss right there, too, if they take it. Oh, that's it. He does it with the single double. So good shot by Kim there as he's able to steal that leg. And those guys struggling with that bullseye on a couple, couple opportunities there that they let slip away. But real early in the match, I don't think that'll bother them at all. If I'm Tom, I just jump up. Try to start right off with a couple of trip 20s. Yeah, and just tell Brock. If you want to take a break, you can okay. All right. Thanks for the like there, Brian Henry. We appreciate you out there. How are we, Brian, tonight? Appreciate you checking in with us on your Friday evening. I'll uh, hold us through here as Chris is going to take a break and go eat some of that barbecue that we had delivered. And uh, when he's done, I'll... Uh, Trade spots with him as I'll slide out to the kitchen and eat my uh, rib kebabs. Let him keep you keep you going through the stream. We see the goat checking in there. Howard Hill, what's going on, my man? I know you're recognizing some of these familiar faces around here today, Howard. As Howard probably, who knows how many years he's played against George Lane for. Got to be close to 30, I would guess. Look at Kim coming out with a vengeance here as he finds a couple of triples with his first two darts. Thank you for the share out there, Brian. Susan says she needs to season the Traeger so she can uh, get that working. So that sounds pretty good to me. So just three singles there from George. Let's see if that's going to hurt. We expect Brock to go up here and probably try to get those 17s working. If he can find a first start triple, maybe make a little move. He does. He finds four, four 17s, so that'll do it. Leaves him still 25 points behind, but with a number to work with. Let's see how Kim Wallace is gonna attack this. Denny Garn out there, I also see in the chat. What's going on, my man, Denny? Always a good time when Denny's here at the club. Big shot from Kim Wallace as he finds two triples in that round to really take control of this leg and look to take a 3-2 lead in the set. So four 16s from Tom. If I'm George, I'm looking right at that 16. He does just that. Let's see if he can find all three here. He's going to have to use all three darts to do it, but he does. I'm sure he's uh, okay with that, with the 69-point lead. 
couple of numbers working, but nothing. A nice little seven mark from Brock here won't make won't shake it up a bit. Gets a little unlucky though, only finding three. Here comes Kimbo, looking for three fifteens of his own. Finds a first dart single, follows it with a triple. Gonna look bull now, I would presume. So they get the numbers closed down and go to the bullseye with the 69 point lead. Denny Garn says it looks like it's going to be a good match tonight, and I agree. These guys have uh, started off pretty even. We've seen uh, we've seen one steal already and a couple of holds. Chris Warren asked, do we have steel tip games? Well, we haven't streamed anything steel tip. We have the uh, steel tip board in the house, but uh, it's not set up as well for streaming. It's just, it's just the, our setup here is better with the uh, the two boards. We have both set up on the stream are our soft tip, but um, a lot of the players here do play steel. A lot of times when I'm watching steel tip uh, streaming, I like to get over and watch it at Bearded Dark Guy. He had a really good stream on last night for any – can see that Jacob Taylor, I believe, won it 11 games to four. There's a big win. Who was that? So that was looks like uh, the second player. That, that was Georgia Kim and take a 3 2 lead. So Chris is, Chris is back. Um, I'm gonna take a short break to go eat something. And you guys, uh, what's up, Danny Garner? Go out easy there. on him. How are you guys doing? Big start right there. Keep that. Keep that up. Nice little five mark right there to start the game. Big answer right there. Little clip it nine mark right there. Big shot right there. Tough darts right there when you get into the triple like that. So we got Kim right here with a 54-point lead. See what he's going to do. He starts at the 20s. Three solid for the close. Appreciate everybody out there liking and sharing. Brian Henry out there for the share. What's up, Howard? We appreciate the like. If I missed anybody, we appreciate it. See what George could do here. Follow up his nine. Hey, Katie, thanks. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Lane with a big trip right there and going back to the points. Take a 55-point lead going into the uh, 17s. Appreciate it, Katie. Obviously, uh, you're the uh, normal mic person. I'm normally downstairs and uh, sitting there in my PJs. There's Kim. Uh, nice first dart. Denny, we're, we will get you guys out whenever we can figure something out. Uh, we always have you in mind. We'll definitely figure something out for sure. So, big darts there from uh, him to come back, Tom, come back in it. Here we got George here, uh, see what he can do. Tough first dart right there. And he shuts him down. 15, so now he's just going to have to run up on the 16 to see what he can get in. 48-point uh, uh, deficit. One trip 16 gets to the point lead, but he's down three numbers. Uh, a little, it looks like a little nerves with him right now, but he'll get back into it. Just settle yourself down. I think everybody that comes in for their first time has a little bit of uh, nerves going on. We appreciate you, Denny. Absolutely. We love you guys. It was a great match uh, with uh, the four man you guys played. We always have you guys up here for sure. I'm sure Scott will figure something out to get you guys back up. Big, big hat right there from Tom. Gets him a little closer. 
So right here now we got George with three bullseyes to win the game. Tough first start right there. Then he just had to go to points. Smart move. Big six mark on the points right there. He's got a 121 point lead going in uh, bullseyes. He's going to need a few. There's one. Now we got Kim right here for uh, three bullseyes for the win. Tough first start right there. Same spot that George put it. Tough darts right there. Tough darts. Tom still needs at least five to get ahead. Well, four will get him ahead by four points. But he probably should just stay right there. Good first dart. Oh, tough last one. All right, George again with three bullseyes for the win. Back to the points. Smart dart right there. Get him back up 93. 97, I mean. Four bullseyes to get that point lead back. Two, he's finding his range a little bit here. There he goes. He broke there for the win. Nice shot. So they take a 4-2 lead going into game six, seven here. Oh, they might have hit it. Uh, the tower light, I see that, Susan. I'll go down there. Sometimes it goes off on its own. Sometimes it gets kicked. The the plug, sometimes it moves around. I'll go back down there in a little bit and uh, get it back on. And then when Scott comes down. Big six mark right there to start from time. George has been lighting up them 19s. He, big nine mark right there. Give it a clip. And nine mark. What are you guys saying out there? Anybody got any uh, predictions on how many nine marks this is going to happen uh, in this match? We're already at five. So I'm going to go with more than five. Yep, clip it, Susan says. Absolutely, I got that in there. Howard Hill says 12, uh, nine marks in this match. Katie says she'll call out nine of them. All right, a little bit of a rough first dart there for him. Michael Boone says 11. Let's see what George can do with the 13-point lead here. Does he? Carol Reynolds says 13. Denny Garn says 13. Stacy says 13. It looks like a lot of 13s out there. John says 10. Big first start there from him. Ooh, tough next two. He's right there. He's getting his little groove. Max Brown says 12. We got Abe, Abe saying six. He's saying they're only going to do one more, and that's it. Sometimes that happens where they uh, kind of filter off the nines a little bit. Jason Kellogg out there. Thanks for the like. We appreciate you. Big darts from time right here. He decides to close them first. And then get the point lead. Big darts right there. This is exactly the battle we wanted to see. Back and forth, back and forth action. 5.5 .5 from George right here. Big last dart. Shut him down. He said screw it.
Big four mark on the 17s right there for him. Get an 87-point lead. Howard's out there laughing at Abe Smith's six. Sometimes those low numbers pan out. Big five mark right there on the 18s from uh, Kim. Tough to hard take, to take the two points right there. It gives them a... Uh, 85 point lead. That's it. My math is right. Thanks for like there, Tyler Michael Mon. We appreciate you out there. Nice little 72 points right there. Getting it a little close. Keeping it back and forth right here. See what the Brock can do. It starts right off of them 18s. And then goes to the points. Smart darts right there. The old uh, one to close, two to point. Not a bad way to go. Yeah, absolutely, Katie. Let's see here some predictions on the winners out there. Who do you guys got? I know there was a lot of at the beginning. Tom Keller and George Lander was a little bit back and forth. Uh, what you guys thinking? I already have my little uh, prediction I like to tell afterwards. I don't like to jinx it, so... Couple good darts right there for Tom. Get close it down and then uh, get a 28 point lead. See what George can do right here. Big first dart triple right there. And he takes the point lead by 36. See what Brock can do here. Get the point lead back and see what he can figure out. Big triple at the end. Howard says Kim and George close. Yeah, it's uh, back and forth so far right now. Big first dart right there. Big triples right there. Take a 64 point lead. Big seven mark right there back. Answer, these guys answering back and forth with some big shots. Don't forget out there in the second set, we got the 501 open in split bowl, uh, double out. Um, if one of these guys hit the nine darter, there's a $200 uh, bounty on the line, and then there's a bottle of... Uh, Certain peach crown, I would say. Rodney says Kim and George. And then there's also three other bottles that were, uh, if you, one of the guys hits the 10 darter, we're going to give a bottle away for them. They're choosing. There's three of them down there. Go for the close and the points. Not a bad dart right there. We got Danny says uh, George and uh, Kim for the win. Kathy Keller says Team Jackson. Nice little five mark right there on the 15s to open back up and be down by 10. He's just going right for the close, looks like. There we go. Big trip 17 for the points. Huge darts from Tom right here. Jacob Bryant says, come on, George and Kim. Looks like Scotty's rolling back through after a nice little uh, Webster's dinner. Double that bowl. is true. Two big, huge doubles right there to get uh, closer here. I can confirm that the uh, barbecue was really good, but nothing compared to uh, what Steve and John have uh, oh, yeah. brought here to the club, the official uh, caterers around this place. Absolutely. Good couple points right there. Take a 70-point <clears throat> lead, so three bullseyes will get them clearing the points, and then you can uh, go from there. Tough first dart. So it looks like Tom and Brock are having a big game right when they need it to get back in within uh to get back within a point. So Absolutely. It's been a back and forth battle for sure. Tom uh normally a really good bullseye shooter, so he's uh 
been known to throw his share of hat tricks in the night over here. Absolutely. So up 62, so it's still three bullseyes yeah. first. Let him off the hook a bit there. Yeah, that's what they did the last time in that game. They got the bullseyes and let him off the hook. And, uh, they Let's capitalized. see how Georgia attacks this. Hot Rod, what's going on? I should say thank you for Here's the game oh, shot here right here. Does he go for it? Oh, he does. Only catches one of the 17s, though. Let's see he if he only uh, needed two. That was a that was a crucial shot. Right put there. a little heat on Brock here. Let's see how he handles it. Smart play to stay with all three. I don't think Ooh, uh, tough last running to that bullseye would have been uh, the way to go. Yeah, because you need three. So now he's still only at uh, one bullseye single single for the win, and he takes it. A tough loss right there for those guys. It was a battle for sure. And bullseyes are hindering them right now. Yeah, end game's uh, important around here. We see that that's most players where, uh, where where you see when somebody lose the match, it's not typically that they didn't keep up or got blown out. It, it's those one or two darts at the end of a game where you see so many times end game is just so important in the game of darts, in my opinion. Tough start right there. Although this game that could be the start that gets him in a little trouble as Tom unable to find a triple 20 in his opening round. So let's see what Kim Wallace does if he makes him pay. Wow, two tough triples right there. Last one gets in there, He though. does close it, but it leaves a relatively easy shot for Brock. If you could find four 19s with your first two darts, go ahead and close that 20 with your third. He's going right at it right now. Tough darts. What's up, Mike? Thanks for the... Uh like out there we appreciate you appreciate you speaking of appreciate hot rod i did see your paypal donation so appreciate that and we'll get you into tomorrow's drawing and also you'll be eligible in the um december 10th grand prize drawing so good luck and uh thank you for the support yeah we appreciate you guys out there it's always nice to see those guys having fun down there when they're playing too absolutely Big triple right Big there. Big third he dart. As he for sure. Little off his mark with the first two because he's been hitting the trip 18 pretty well tonight. <laughs> tough, little tough darts right there for Kim. See if Brock can capitalize on this right here. Katie asked, what's the music like down there? And I believe uh, Chris set it all up, and I think it might be eight, 80s. So. 80s greatest hit. That's what they wanted. 80s greatest hits they asked for. Kim Wallace says he listens to uh, different music on the stream than everybody else. He said uh listens to the Zelda theme songs and stuff like that. So, Hey, whatever works for you. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you need to do. I've always enjoyed the Zelda theme song myself. I just was playing it again yesterday. I would say of all video game theme songs, the one that was in my head the most was, was Halo. I, I swear it used to just be on all the time at my house, and you would just constantly hear it. Yeah, you got falling asleep playing it, and then mm -hmm. you wake up in the middle of the It would be on time. for the entire day, you yeah. know, uh, the original Halo, too. So I was back, you know, in my early days. Right. Even before it was live, we used to have to, to have the uh, LAN parties where you had the hub and you had to have four different TVs in the same house and four Xboxes. And uh, right, yeah, yeah, you couldn't yeah. do it any other way, right? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Now it's now you don't even have, like now these kids don't even have to leave their bedroom; they can just no. set up a stream and do their thing. They could take it on the go. You know, you could play a lot of these games right from your cell phone. Right. Multi platforms and everything—it's completely changed. Yeah, Katie says Kim's music well known. And one of a kind. And <laughs> ask Olivia Terry. I wonder where, what's Olivia up to today. We chatted for a small second this morning. What's up, Buffy? Thanks for the like out there. Howard Hill, that's when we lived together. He says, I remember that kid. Yeah, I know he does because <laughs> yeah, he heard it too. What's up, we Richard Harles? How are you out there? Thanks for the like. Roommates for a pretty long time. And uh, that was in those days. I know he remembers those Halo parties. Did, I, did Howard get down with the Halo too? No, but none of us could beat him on the on the <laughs> Xbox shot football. Right there, Big his shot. defense was impeccable oh, on the, on, on the and Xbox he football. Just because he knew play calling, and we were all apparently so predictable, 
because he didn't even play video games, so we could not score on him. He, his, <laughs> whether he ran the nickel or 4-3, I don't even know, but we could not score on Howard. That's hilarious. I used to just do the, the old Tecmo Bowl used to, used to uh, kick off return block. Yeah. And it would just bring everybody normally can get them. Yeah, I see a lot of the players uh, in this week's stream and uh, last week as well, though, talking about the Buckeye. A lot of players going to go participate in that, and uh, that's awesome. What's up, Chris Hefferman? We appreciate the like. Yeah, you know what happens is when they turn the music up with the other remote, sometimes it'll turn it off. Chris is going to go down the uh, tower, the light tower. I heard somebody ask about that when I was uh, on my dinner break. He's going to go fix that up. Brandon, how we doing out there? Thanks for the like, brother. Another uh, one of our returning players. He came out for a nice little luck of the draw we had uh, about a month or so ago. Richard Harrell says he'll be at the Buckeye. I do remember him saying that uh, just the other day with the uh, with the dark guys working the working the store with Feld Push, I believe you said. Big third dart from Kimbo there as he finds a 27 point lead and uh, is going to force Brock to the bullseyes here and let's see if he can find four. Even better, a five piece would be go a long way. I mean, he does get two. Let's see if George is going to go right after. You got a 27 point lead. 45 is only, it's really not going to help that much. So I, I think it's a bullseye shot here. I don't think the math checks out to go 15, really. He does fire at the 15 on his third and final dart. Chris Heffernan said, uh, after a nice relaxing birthday dinner, well, happy birthday, brother. Hope you enjoyed the dinner. Where'd you uh, where'd you eat that at? Uh, steakhouse kind of birthday, seafood kind of birthday. What uh, what'd you do, brother? Pizza. I mean, what pasta? What? So many options. You you were just down there. Do you want to go help them? Do they know what they're doing? They got it straight. I think so. Okay. It's tough when you get a steel tip crew down there with no officials, so sometimes we can, uh, you know, usually we're down there for stuff like that. If uh, punch it right up and fix it up for them, but looks like they figured it out themselves, which is normally what happens anyways. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to step away and take a call from my pops, make sure everything was all right. He never usually calls at 8.30. He's asleep by now, typically, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're definitely not going to bed for at least six more hours. Yeah. It's been, it's been the finish, really. Well, we've seen a lot of that in the cricket sets. They will tend to get lopsided from time to time. Couple more PayPal donations coming in there as Buff McGiven says, send in a twenty, and she threw her name in the ring. And Steve Picom as well with a with a ten dollar donation. So appreciate you guys, and uh, good luck in both the drawings. Buff up. Oh, I'm muted. Have I been muted this whole time? Um, yeah, Chris may or may not have been muted for a while, so we're sorry about that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but continuing with what Buff, she said, uh, said happy birthday next weekend, wish to me, so I appreciate you for that. And also we've got her son coming on the stream next week for a first time, and we're looking forward to meeting him. And she said she's really looking forward to uh, – Watching them play on here, and so are we. As uh, next yeah. Saturday, we have a big 501 singles event planned with uh, 10 entries, and we um really looking forward to having that. That day actually will fall on my birthday, so be nice to me in the booth that day as I'll be calling the matches there, and we look forward to that. Yeah, we, I think we got it fixed now. Whoops. I yep. thought the button was right. I must yep. have turned it Alyssa off. Alyssa says the ref's mic is off. Howard says hi, Cassie, so... And then he just said he was getting ready to let me know. I wonder how long I was talking with the mic. I was muted out probably the whole time. Did you mute yours when you left or did you leave it on? Um, I always uh, mute mine when I walk out of the room. So mine was off just while I ran out to take the call from my dad. So, yeah, so I was just sitting here talking into nothing. Yeah, they probably could slightly hear you from my mic, I think. but Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, it happens. Like we say around here, great darts, mediocre commentary. That is our specialty. Yeah, so that's what we do. Please don't judge us. I'm the, that's why it says the ref's mic. I am should be like I sit in the corner. Chris working a different post here at the club today, so he's uh, he's not, you know. He's, yeah, sometimes he has, he's <laughs> definitely done some commentary here, but it's, it's not his normal post. Normally you'll see him right over there, right about where Kimbo is standing. Calling the match, keep it score, making sure everything's going good. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 Katie. No laughing. I would have already been kicked out. Katie would already came up from the downstairs, like, all right, switch spots. No yep. more no more ref. No You're more ref out of here, ref. You're out You're here. <laughs> Get in your corner. <laughs> So let's see what Mr. Wallace does here. Okay, good. Kathy says I was only muted for a bit. Maybe I needed that little muting. Nice little five mark from him. Get a little closer. Did you maybe mute by when I went out too, just out of instinct? No, I, maybe I did it when I came back. I must have hit it when you, like, I don't know. Like, I must have, when I came back, I must have hit it. And you were still here, so they were picking up me a little bit. But then when you left. That's when you muted yours in that yeah, little because I heard you when I was you were I, when I went out to eat I heard you the whole so time. So your mic must have been on. It just must have been over there. Then when you came back, it it muted me because uh, your voice over carries mine, especially further away. But shit happens, right? Sorry, probably a nice break for the viewers. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> What's up, Wendy Muzz? Hey, you? Wendy, how we doing? Yeah, I could broadcast from the player mic. Oh, my gosh. He's too hard <laughs> on the players. I don't know if they're ready for that. Yeah, I, yeah, I would definitely not be able to be wired down there. Could you imagine that mic, hot mic? <laughs> yeah, because you're just, like, right behind them, too. There's no way they wouldn't uh, There's no way they wouldn't hear it all. all. Right. So let's see if he finds a, finds one more triple here to make that a seven, Mark. No, only five. So Still get some a little lead. Five-point lead. Alabama. She must be talking about Howard Hill. Alabama has a slight shot to get in that national championship. I've been saying it since they lost. Well, they lost by what a combined uh, four, four points, points this yeah. season yeah. on the both on the last play of the game. And they're in number six spot. So if TCU, they're even talking about if USC loses that 
Alabama jumps Ohio State because Ohio State took that thrashing from Michigan. Yeah, I could see that. Big seven mark right there from George. It's really hard to put a two-loss team in there, even if it is Alabama, but, you know, you never know. Yeah, it just would create more drama for these guys. I hear Howard says they got no shot. They got no shot until they got the shot in there. Hey, if if Howard says it, you got to kind of believe it. Howard's been crimson tied uh, since his very early days. So yeah, I've only mine's only been about fifteen years. Big shot right there from Kim. Look at that shot from Kimbo. That's, this is what they've been doing. That's that finishing right there. Yeah. Take, just stealing the lead from him. I, I preach it up here. I, I tell guys, you know, I watch almost every game here and. I mean, it sounds like Captain Obvious saying it's end game, but it, it's there's other ways to lose. But the main way people lose here at the club is just the end game, man. You see, when a guy's struggling with finishing, or just leaving the take it six starts to finish what should be done in three, a lot of times that 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 game gets away. These guys will punish you, and let's see if it happens. Ooh, tough deflection there. Yeah, he deflected way down. The Kembe Matumbo style right there. Good way to just take the point and get him a three bowl, you know. With three, well, I three, think it was because bowl. of the deflection. He probably didn't want it happening twice. Why not shoot over? Katie says she agrees 100% as she's usually right here by my side watching a lot of these games up here. We talk about it often, how uh, you see that the uh, end game is critical. Olivia says go Brock. Here we go. One more bowl for the win. Yeah, and Brock does seem to have settled in where there we saw is. maybe a little bit of early nerves. Taking a 7-2 lead right here. Sometimes these go lopsided. It's unfortunate. Yeah. You got to stop the train. Put down the barrier. The good thing you see is that, you know, the, the uh, team's not hurt. They're, they're not down on each other. Brock and Tom are just jump right back up, start the next game. They realize that at any time you could turn it around. And even if you do lose this opening set, you could still level it in the 501. So... I would say uh, if I'm them, just keep chipping away and see what you could do. And if you're George and Kim, you just stay solid because you're gonna. Ha if they win a couple games, you're still gonna go first. So, and you got your seven games in. So, and George and Kim with their 0-1 should be pretty tough to beat. I would say not that the, the other team won't, but I mean, they play so much 5-1 with the with the steel tip background out there, Moriarty's and everywhere else they're playing. Yeah, absolutely, John's right. There's been a lot of nine two nine three matches for sure. Yeah. And if you watch it all, that you know that up here in the booth, I'm always excited. I, I really, I'd be okay if we never played cricket. I love the 501 sets. That's why. Me too. For my birthday, I chose an all 501 singles event because it, for me, it's it's more exciting to watch. Yeah, and those 180s are just when the, when 180s that, start the popping off. The big outs, yeah. the, just everything. You know, the the comebacks. There's there's really no blowouts in 501. Cricket, you can get off to such, a, excuse me, such a big lead where the other team just. It's really you're just kind of finishing up. You know, we're 501. You, you're always at one big shot back. Brandon Hanley, thanks for the like out there. I think we missed you. It was about 12 minutes ago. I might have said it, but I might have been muted. So we appreciate you out there being there. Richard, that's great to hear. As he says, Johnny K's uh, Toys for Tots tournament, which has been going on for many years now, is already off and running with some unbelievable amounts of baskets and toys for the kids. So we love to hear that. We have quite a few great Toys for Tots fundraisers in our area out here as well. One of them being tomorrow is uh, the Santa shoot be taking place at Johnny B. Good. So if you're looking for somewhere to play, that's a great place to look into for tomorrow. December the 13th, we got a <laughs> George just said, I got a zero average. Well, you only threw three darts. Give yourself a break, you know. <laughs> right. Travis Caulfield out there, thanks for the like. How are we doing out there, Trav? Cue the dinner comment right now. Usually Trav would like to let us know that he's eating yeah. pretty good. We, as we, uh, If you're just getting in, you'll find out me and Chris had uh, Webster's Barbecue here at the house. Not bad, for sure. I got the, the, the what was that? The Open pit, open I believe pit. they yeah, call it, ribs and chicken. Let's go, Bro Brocklin Booth. Dad will make a $500 donation to your dart league if you pull off this. Wow. Nice. Man, I like the sound of that. He's probably talking about his league, not ours, though. Yeah, but but either way. Yeah, either, either way. way. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever that $500 is going, that's fucking yeah. great. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we appreciate that. Huge for the game. Yeah, wherever it's going. We always appreciate donates here, everywhere. Richard says, hey, Coop. So here we go with the 100-point lead, uh, 
Oh, they're down 100, I mean, and uh, they got the 16s. Yeah, pretty much have to stay there. George has already nine marked this number once tonight early in the set, so let's see if he can find one here. And that's a good way to start it with a triple and another. Tom says Bronx choice of league, another little nine mark. Bam. Good call right there. Did, did it go? Yeah. Thomas, Thomas said Brock's Choice of League. That's, Brock's Choice of League. Yeah, I like it. Absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. We always love donations everywhere, anywhere. Like, it just promotes the game. Yeah, a people. lot of events run on, uh, you know, donations and stuff like that. So it helps the facilities and the equipment, especially with steel tip leagues with new boards and stuff having to be replaced from time to time. So, Absolutely. Like, that's that's the great, like, getting stuff like that out there is phenomenal. Absolutely. We're, we're, with his, uh, wherever he plays, probably in Jackson. Abe Smith says, okay, let's stop the nine counts right there. Yeah, he, said, his, he, he his called the six. Yeah, hit. He, I did hear him call the six while I was off on dinner break. Good little battle back and forth right here. Just uh, get a number and uh, try and get them points back. See if he can find a triple. He does not, so it looks like pretty good opportunity to get get up back in the right direction here with the triple. What's up, Q? Thanks for the like out there. We appreciate you. Brandon Q, my man, how are you? So opportunity for Kim here that he probably wasn't expecting. He could... No, he's going to stay. Yeah, smart this day. Yeah, you're down two numbers. You got your own. They only got one left on the 50. Yeah, you don't want to get too brave there. Looks like Brock's son has checked in as well. Scott Booth says, go, Dad. Sometimes I almost want to take the pick down, down you know, a little 14 points, just get rid of that 15. I'm surprised he didn't. This was so focused on just pointing them, get the point lead back. Q says him and Voodoo are heading on down to the heading on down to Mississippi for the weekend right now. So that's awesome. Got have fun, drive safe out there. Yeah, be careful on the roads and enjoy that trip. Sounds like a fun little weekend, and not missing nothing around here. It's been pretty crappy weather the last few days. Absolutely. I'm sure. I think we got more of it coming. Yeah, we're starting. To, we're probably gonna get into the snow time too. Just got the got the old uh, email from the school talking about their protocols for shutting school down for the winter. It is December in Michigan, so what do you expect? Thanks for the like there, Sarah Lima. We appreciate you out there. Tough last dart. He went to go close the twenties. Oh, that's second dart. Sorry. I gotta assume that the fifteen's going no matter what this turn. Yeah, you now, gotta especially get now. It. Oh, tough dart. Caught a hanger. Howard says rain five days here in Tennessee. That's always fun. James Straley, thanks for the new follow. Appreciate you. And hope you enjoy what you see. We got Sam out there. Thanks for the like. Might actually be Dougie. I called him earlier. Sam was getting ready for bed, and Doug said, uh, I told Doug, I said, if, if, you know, maybe check in on Sam's account and watch some darts. Some of your uh, old school buddy here, that Doug's played a ton of darts with George Lane. So Absolutely. whether it's Sam or Doug or both, welcome Big in, guys. on that last dart. Alicia Booth in the building. Thanks for the like. We appreciate you. That, that fire-ass jersey that Josh did for her I, was beautiful. Yeah, it was a great design. I thought they really knocked it out of the park with that one. Big, another seven mark from uh both there sam says the, that one says both of you guys. so it well, is both of them so nice welcome in you. guys nice to see you doug one of the ogs for sure almost want to just, just get rid of that 15 they're just murdering the 15s out again them. this is the end game that i'm talking about indecision and just that 15's been hanging around just long enough. George and Kim have been out of this game with that 15 gone three, four rounds ago. I think they would have been done. So let's see if it ultimately comes back to Hanum or if they're able to hang on and get this W. But I feel like that 15 has just has really. Uh, yeah, it's haunting them. 
Oh, it didn't hurt him too much. Let's see right, what Brock can do right here. Yeah, Abe, you're right. 15 had to go three rounds ago. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Abe. Here, right now, he's got to just get he's it He's going out for it now. There it is. Uh, sigh of relief off of Tom and uh, Brock right there. A 31 point lead. So double bull for a start. See Ooh, tough with that right there. Well, at least he got the 19 and a 20. Helps a little bit. It's not ideal, but in the long game. Three bullseyes to win right here. Tough first start. And Chris Heffernan coming in with a ten dollar uh, donation through the PayPal. Thank you for that, Chris. And we'll have you entered in uh, both of the drawings. Uh, one on December the tenth with all of the prizes, and tomorrow's drawing for a set of darts of your choice. And that goes for anybody who makes a donation tonight. Soft or steel tip available in both barrels. We have the Dan Burke signature darts, as long with the Jason Watt and the Alex Spellman. So. All right, two bullseyes right here to win this game. We got, they need it. They got to have this win. Can't go down eight to two. We can, but it's tough. A little smart move to get that extra little point right there. That gave him another bullseye. But he's, he gets him out of game shot because he can't go. He can double-double and then nothing else. Dude, is that like that's the old school songs on there? So. I was going to say it might be the skating rink music down there. It's been pretty rock 80s, but right now it's definitely skating rink. And, and sure I, I'm old enough to know that. You know what I mean? I like I was, it's definitely Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. From the Karate Kid. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see a small smoke break as the um, players are going to break. So if you've heard me mention a few times tonight about the about the uh, giveaway on December the 10th, I'll bring those prizes up along with, like I said, any donations tonight. I'll have a chance to win a set of darts tomorrow. But on the 10th, this is what we'll be giving away. we got one hat in the giveaway. We've got a custom jersey design, a $50 gift card to Josh's Apparel. There's also a... Um, there's also you can win your own bring your own group here into the which tends to be one of the favorites bring your own crew here to the MDC and do the stream with the commentary crew and official and we'll be giving away four sets of darts on that night any but your choice um, and then as, tomorrow obviously the one set and then there's another set being given away tomorrow so lots of fun stuff to give away over the next week or so so Troy Keller out there we appreciate you thanks for the like says good job dad so Tom's dad, uh, Tom's son's out there. Throw the back. You want to throw the back screen out there? Show him the. Yeah, we can uh, give the back view here and let you guys take a look from. Looks, I don't know if they came upstairs. If you, uh, I don't think they did. Maybe went over to grab a beer. Maybe they all went out together. Yeah, the Kim and uh, them probably over by the fridge. Yep. So we'll just. Well, you just saw the giveaway. Let's see. If we can pull it back up. But yeah, that's uh, that's this month's end of the month giveaway. There's ten prizes. Those are. Those are the prizes, but combined for 10 total winners, there's, what, four sets of darts, and then the the live stream is five, six, seven, eight. Then I know there's a $50, um, there's a $50 uh, gift uh, mystery box from Fit Flight, and there's something else on there, too. I forget what it is, but. Yeah, that'll be all going down the, the 11th, correct? Yeah, actually, yeah, it's uh, the final events on the 10th, but we're going to do the drawing on actually on the 11th, so we don't have to do it during, uh, for one, without Josh here, and for two, it really slows down the, really slows down the stream on the night of the tournament, so we're going to do the drawing the following day, so actually it'll be December the 11th, but the final day it'll enter will be the 10th, will you go out there and take care of them, please?
ambition, who's the best? I got to take them out. Get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they're going to sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They're going to play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah, they're going to sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They're going to play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah. Get your aim right, get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night. That's a bullseye, how about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. I'm talking back then, we used to rock out on the cell phone. Facebook Live got you stuck just like it's Velcro. You see it growing, I can do this by myself, though. Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow. Get sit and watch us do it. Straight out the face of now, it's on the TV, you can do it. You go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it. We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it. Someone turn up the music. We love this competition, we gon' rock out till we finish. Shot the power with the jersey, time to get the finish. They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning. I like it, I don't lose focus, the target, I'm gonna hit it. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Y'all real ball. We should call the smoke. They know who we are. Best not jump the throw on me. It's like coming out of a moving car. I come through and set the same confident like movie stars. Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow. Jay Custom can put a work and he gon' turn it up. Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want. I cannot be stopped. I catch a body if it's one on one. I made this my hobby. They cannot tell me what can't be done. Shout out Ricky. We up in the club. It's going down. If anybody want to run it, let me know it now. From Michigan to anywhere we coming through your town. I'm on a mission. Who's the best? I got to take them out. Get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah. It's your boy King and Blake. And I'm rocking with MDC. Much love, Josh. I appreciate the opportunity, man. your aim right. You came in, it's game time. It's MDC. Yo. Get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want the smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we drive the beat and smoke. I'm talking back then. We used to rock out on the cell phone. Facebook Live got you and stuck just like it's Velcro. You see it growing. I can do this by myself, though. Perfect game with it. Little shoulder and some elbow. Get sit and watch us do it. Straight out the face of now. It's on the TV. You can do it. You go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it. We don't respect the talking. We from where you got to prove it. Someone turn up the music. We love this competition. We gon' rock out to All right, they are back in action. We just took a quick second to catch up with the players. Georgie, come up. The 
to say hello or the other guys were getting a smoke break and uh Oops. kim just came up and got him and said hey we started buddy it's your shot so <laughs> and he thought he was kidding but look apparently he was not so hopefully you guys got a good look at those giveaways and stuff and uh sorry about that you missed out on the five mark and seven mark yeah we missed a missed a little bit there but it's good to see george back in the you know george has been around for a long time i've known george since, since i started playing he was playing you know and especially steel tip so it's good to see him out there looks like another donation coming in from uh, abe smith on the paypal so appreciate you abe always appreciate been a that. supporter here in the club while we we're on the giveaway screen uh Zach, zeke booth came in there and gave us a like we appreciate you thanks thanks for everything out there and then the, there is the cash app there in the link i didn't put the dollar sign in front of midnight dark club but if you're a cash app donator and it's, it's supposed to be do, dollar sign midnight dark club for that but i noticed it's been all paypal tonight it's usually the opposite it's almost always all all cash app so right so here we go tom with the seven mark to start the game see what he can do here to move forward with the points big first dart right there great seven mark right there George was, uh, I got to say, was pretty happy to hear some of the people. We told him, you know, some of the guys out here watching today, we told him that Doug was in the, Doug and Howard and some of the guys he's played with for so long. And he said uh, to say what's up to you guys and thanks for everybody. He wanted to make sure everyone was thanked for uh, supporting him here and confirmed he's having a really good time. And he said that's been uh, the difference for him lately is uh, he's having a lot more fun playing darts again as uh Sometimes it, that can right get away from, from you Brock. when you play for years and years. I think everyone knows how the game can be. Sometimes it can be a little rough on you. So good to hear George is having a lot of fun playing, and we were really glad to get him out here along with the rest of the crew tonight. So It's always nice to get new faces in here and get them playing. As we just move past the hour and 30-minute mark, sliding back up to about 40 live viewers here, so... Thanks to everyone who's been involved and uh, hanging out with us tonight on this Friday night. Yeah, we got the uh, the Pac-10 uh, game on there tonight, too. Yeah, yeah, I got to say, I'm uh, definitely pro-USC in that game. As I, uh, That's where I use my free bet on FanDuel today. So George able to find five eighteens on that shot and leave himself just ten points behind. Brock getting to the line average of five point oh. Brock throwing a bit of an old school soft tip dart there, I notice. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so there was there, <laughs> there was, was some, some comments, comments yeah. <laughs> we lost George. I'm gonna step out real quick and talk to Alan. Okay. Chris got to take a call about some streams we're working on next week. He's just got a return call, so we're setting some stuff up. So he's gonna step out and take care of that. I'll keep you guys live here with the action as we see Tom jump in with his first two darts in a single 19. Let's see if he can find a triple. He does not, so it's going to be an opportunity here for George. Triple 18 first dart. I would assume at that point you go 19-19 for the close, but seems to step back, probably doing some minor mathematics there, and uh, let's see what he comes up with here. Oh, he's elected without the lead to go ahead and close it down, which I'm not totally against that. You could... Could be punished for that. Let's see if that pays off or not. Expect Brock to start at the 17. But maybe 18, 18 now. A little bit of a tricky spot he's in here. So, Kim Wallace. Finds the lead. And adds to it with another triple, so extends his lead to 59 points. And here comes Tom Keller, going to look first start trip 17. He finds it down by just eight now. 
Up by 43. Does he go after it? He does. Only gets the single, though, so. It's going to make Georgia's shot a little bit tricky. First start trip 18 would make it seem a lot easier, though, and he finds that. So let's see if he's going to take a stab at the 17. He is, and he finds it. Goes back up and finds another 18. So picks up 72 points, and he's also able to close the 17s there. So 29-point difference separating the two teams here. Trip 16, maybe an 18 dart here. No, he likes to stay, but he picks up 48 points in the process. So now they're in the lead by 19. Let's see what uh, see what Wallace has got here. Got to expect him to go 18 first dart. He does low in the four again. And just a single and now um, still down by a point. So going to expect Tom Keller to definitely finish off those 18s, especially only needing one. Does just that. So takes a stab to close the 15 as well and picks up a few extra points on his third dart. This is where they've struggled, though, in the end game. Let's see if they're able to hold on for this W here. George coming up, down by 17. Probably looking right at the 15s, I would assume. Abe says good seven mark for George Lane on that last turn. I got to agree. And another good seven mark for Mr. Lane as he's now stretched his lead to 43. All right, I'm back there. Uh, looks like it's a battle back and forth here. It is a first dart triple from Brock, but unable to find anything with the second or third dart, so only leaving that round with a five-point lead. And here comes Kimbo. 40-point lead now. He's going to take a stab at that 16. Yeah, Abe's saying that damn 15. Is it, is it haunting him again? Yeah, it is. It, George came out and popped the seven mark. Let's see... Uh, Look for a 48 on this first dart, which would give him a three-point lead. Only yeah, finding 16, but now a 19-point lead. And he went for it. A nine-point lead, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he uh, called himself a little bit of a explicative name down there. <laughs> so hey, sometimes that's what it takes. Yeah, absolutely. you got to cuss at yourself sometimes for sure. Alrighty, so here we go. Down by six. Oh, tough two darts. That second one deflected and just bounced it right out of the 16. Oh, tough darts right there. That's the, that's the whole finishing thing we've been talking about all day. It, uh, it's been the entire difference, this Ooh, whole... Uh, tough one right there, too. Look at that. Wow, he left it open. He hit the 16, then went for points, and then missed them both. Tough, to, tough way to go right there. Tom has to capitalize on this. And Shuts he, it down with a 10-point lead. So really here comes cap, George. Capitalize, and he can go double-double well, double single for the yeah, win. Yeah, he, he didn't take away game shots. So. I tell you what, I'm ready to watch some 0-1, man. Me too. And I this love cricket. cricket's been okay, but yeah, I, I love cricket, but I definitely love all one. There's a big one right there. Another double for the point lead. Oh, he decided to shut it down. Not a bad move either. No, it's a great play, actually. I think it's smart. You are tested Brock for a hat trick finish. They've struggled with their finishing. I, I think it's the right play. Let's see if Brock can make him pay though, and it looks like he's gonna. Oh, tough last dart. <laughs> Tough dart. It's right there, though. That's he needs two for the win. There's one, and he gets it. Puts so stretches the lead to a five-game lead. Eight three sitting on the hill here. So, 
And that's where John earlier said, you know, a lot of the nine threes, nine twos, we do see this a lot, this nine three. Yeah, John watches a lot of streams. He knows what he's talking about. Abe Smith chiming in already, wants to get his six 180s in for the 01. Get the first one for that. What you guys thinking moving into the 01? What do you guys give us your predictions on how many 180s you're thinking? So it's a tough start for Tom right here. I think I think they're all thinking the same thing. He didn't really hurt him too much, so that's not bad. You know, it doesn't it closes it out, so that's good. But didn't hurt didn't hurt Tom though. Brock seen this situation earlier. Uh, the same. Katie says she's going to take eight 180s. Yeah, I feel like the players will be a little more comfortable with the 501 set just because they play so much split below one with the with the steel tip background for most of these guys. So big last start right there to get an 80 point lead. It's not that they don't play steel tip, uh, cricket and steel, but I think that they probably focus a little more on the old one. Yeah, and you know the the PDC guys. That's all they play is old one. They don't play any cricket. Oh, tough last start right there. George is looking to just shut everything down and just get this game over with fast and get into the all one. George playing some good darts right now. Absolutely. There's some people out there wondering what George was going to do. I'm pretty sure he showed what he's going to do. He's going to just stick to hitting numbers. He's playing them pretty well. Tough darts right there, so here we go, Tom right here. Needs a couple triples and then get that single 20. Hey, I don't know how he finds snuck a that third, in there, but he got it in there. Finds a third dart triple, that's, that's an important dart. Kathy's gonna lowball him, say three 180s. Uh, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy says only three, so we've seen matches with with that low. We have seen we have seen it happen a lot of times in doubles. You will you will see more because a lot of times it's one on one here in the in the five one split bowl. So me personally, I think we should see seven or eight. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't think anybody said five. I think it's, I think right on five. But it can be anywhere to 10 because it just depends on how hot they start getting it. Because once you start throwing at the 20s only, it changes the game. Danny says nine 180s. Tom really needs to set it up right here, get himself going. All 16s, not move. There's a big shot right there. Now he needs another one. There you go. Nice seven mark from Tom right there. See, George, shut them 16s down or go points. He decided to go points. Big shot, that third dart right there. Is getting right in there, shutting them all the way down. So they're taking a good 46-point uh, lead down to the 15s. Let's see, get a triple right in here. Looks like Danny triple. said 9-180s if you haven't read that yet. Yeah, I think I did. But good to see you out there. It's close. I think that's right? a I think that's a logical guess with the the team effort here, and it looks like this set may be coming to an end. As a uh, double bowl right here, Lanes. You can see lanes. George's excitement in the background there. Oh, gotta love to see your partner when your partner gets excited in the back when you have some good team chemistry. That's what I meant. Yep. Okay, Chris is going to, not to jinx them, but he's going to start heading that way to help them uh, set it up for the split bull. 
and uh, try to keep these guys playing and maybe jump right into the uh, maybe jump right into that next set after they just had a break a few moments ago. I'd like to try to keep games going on the stream here if we can, just because uh, we know as a viewer the worst time for us is uh, for you guys is the break time when there's nothing going on. So he's going to go down and see what we could do about uh, keeping them rocking. Well, he might have jumped the gun a little early, though. If uh, Kimbo doesn't hit this shot right here, we will see. Uh, and it is over, so the set is finished. And uh, Chris is down there. He's going to show them how to get it all set up and everything. They may take a small break. I'm uh, going to try to limit the break a little, little bit to, you know, five, six minutes if we can. And try to keep the stream popping here for you. So we will be playing 501 open in double out. The bullseye will be split. And it will be team game. So there will be four scores. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the soft tip rules about the freeze rule, that's uh freeze rule is in play today. Abe Smith has good set. I agree. It was uh 8-3 and it could have been a lot closer to be honest. I think the I think the end game from from uh Tom and Brock really uh, really kind of hurt them. The 15s were uh, – the other team was on them really well, and they just – they had a couple opportunities to close some games out that they just didn't quite get it done, and uh, Georgia Kim were able to make them pay. So we expect to see a, a closer set in the 501. Typically speaking here on the stream, a lot of the 501 sets will – even go as far as all the way to the tiebreaker, which will be played on the 13-inch side if it makes it to the game 17, the 8-8 eight eight scoreboard. So no, I think we will see a diddle here. Not sure, but uh, Chris is making sure that they're up to date on the rules and everything, so... If anybody does throw a nine dart out today, they've got a nice bonus coming as we have a uh, fifth of crown peach and a $200 bonus for the first person to throw a nine dart out on the stream. We have not seen one yet. So that'd be really cool if we got that and make a great video clip. You can see the players just staying loose here, going to work on their trip 20 a bit. I do believe Tom and Brock slid out to grab a cigarette real quick in between. Chris Heffernan has uh, said five 180s he's taking a look at. Tom said the, just a quick smoke break between sets, so we appreciate it. It is nice when the players keep playing here. I know that uh, we don't want to work them too hard. We uh, do have la labor regulations here as we are a just kidding, we're not we're not a union, <laughs> but uh, we we do try to not work them too hard here. As the players out here spending their Friday night with us, and I'm sure there was a lot of other plans they could have had with their families. So always grateful when the players will come spend their weekend here with us. Abe, I do believe we've seen the 10 darter in uh, even in the double double. I think somebody had a 10, and uh, we had, we had a 10 darter in the split bowl in the. I think somebody took one out in one of the doubles matches, but um. Nobody has had that. Uh, nobody's hit the 180, 180 yet. The uh, the closest we saw was in the double double. Uh, Jermaine, Jermaine was out here, main event as, as he's commonly called. He opened up 160 and backed at 180, but he did miss dart number seven with only a single 20, so we deem that as the closest. I think uh, State Farm also, State Farm may have hit the front five or so, um, but it's uh, it's been rough. It, it's... Um, you know, it's obviously a really hard game to, to throw and then to catch it, capture it on camera makes it a little tougher. And so we uh, we do hope that we get the elusive niner on camera here one day. But as of right now, we're closest we've seen is the front six. 
And George is going to start off with a smooth little 85 there. And Tom Keller rolling in behind him here. And let's see what he does. Finds the first star triple 20. So the nine was alive for one dart there. It may have been. Uh, Dan Burke may have uh, had one too. But a lot of um I don't know. I think the events that Dan has been here for because it was the player championship and the tank memorial classic and both of those events we played with the hot bowl oh yep good call katie and she says let's reset that scoreboard and one set to nothing for george and kim i was downstairs i couldn't do both yep that's my bad i should be on that although chris on scoreboard duty tonight but i definitely could have uh definitely could have picked that slack up for him that's all right, though. We got that all set. Tom and uh, Brock need to take a two-second uh, puff puff game. And they weren't kidding. They took a very short break because they were not gone very long at all. So we do appreciate that, and I'm sure you viewers do as well. So. There we go. Looking here in the opening good. leg, it looks like everybody knows what they're doing. Ashley Joe Boots says, Team Jackson, let's go. Abe says, the open bull events. Yeah, the, I think Dan Dan and PJ was close to a 10-darter the one time. He was like he had a couple shots in a row at a 10-darter. PJ did on that one run of things that he did. We've had plenty of 14-darters when, when we play this 701. We've had a lot of guys throw the four hat tricks in the 101 with two darts. So, But with the split bull, we've yet to see anything better than 10. And I think if there is a 10, I don't remember who it was, but I, I, I do feel like we said a 10-dart out. It might even have been Brent. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not remember. But I, did you talk to them about if they throw the nine dart or the two hundred, and then plus the peach crown bottle, and then uh, oh, the fans know for sure. The yeah. players know, right? Yeah. Yeah, the players know for sure. I made yep. sure of that. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, we have two little bars where uh, one is you get to pick any bottle for a ten darter, and uh, we also have the what we consider our top shelf, the crown peach. You get that bottle for a for a nine dart out, and again, there's a, a two hundred dollar bounty on that as well. So. And if that doesn't get hit by the end of the season, I think we might up the stakes and throw a little extra in there to start off season two. Maybe kick another hundred in there from the club, make it three hundred dollar bounty, and yeah, I mean, maybe we get a little bigger and bigger. We start drawing in some sharks, really going after it. Yeah, I mean, we definitely can do something like that. Anything that we can do to bring more viewers and bring more players, that's what we're about. We're we're equal opportunity streamer. We want everybody that we possibly can. You don't have to be a great shot to get on there. We showed that the other day. We got another stream coming up on Tuesday like that where they're not the master shots, but they're really good. We're still in the works with that one. And then uh, obviously tomorrow. Yeah, we've had a wide, wide range of player averages here on the streams, and especially considering with, with you know some of the giveaway winners and stuff like that. And uh, Abe makes a good point. As he said, the bounty adds a little extra pressure to the elusive nine darter, and I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. It's already it's already at that point as it is. Seen another nine darter on PDC. Van Gerwen in that final hit another one. What a shot that was. What a, what a final performance by him. So let's see what Brock leaves himself here from 180. Another trip 20 will leave you right on 40. Oh, tough little flight off. Bit surprised with the hesitation there. Seemed like he was maybe not sure on the line of it there because I know he had to like the math trip 20 to leave tops. Right. Maybe he was uh, just a little confused too. He seen that Hunter was going to go bull bull. I don't know if he plays man, you know, the hot bull normally. Sometimes that when you've been playing hot bowl for a while. And yeah, when you come in with Tom, I would assume he plays at least a little bit of steel, but I don't know for sure. Tom does play both games pretty frequently, so I didn't really get to ask Brock if he play if he favors soft or steel tip more, what he plays what he's more uh comfortable with. Kevin Peterson, welcome in and thank you for the share. Definitely appreciate you. You like Dan shared it. Always does. Kevin's been always a big supporter of us here. I want to say that I don't think there's too many streams that he didn't share, to be honest. I think any time he's in, he always shares the stream. And he 
he makes uh makes an appearance in most of them as well so we do appreciate that steve it is not hot bowl it is split bowl you can see the double bull logo down there at the bottom. That means that uh, the bull is split. See the uh, two uh, opposite facing bulls at the bottom there. Tom's going to rem remind Brock to it to double out and try to set himself up. One thing George asked me earlier was uh, the freeze rule. He's he's not really, really familiar with the freeze rule stuff. Those guys are steel tippers, so they're not used to the freeze rule, but I explained it to him. I and think, I think with think Kim the, down there, everyone will get a fair understanding of the rules. One thing about Kim, he's uh, he's a player that understands what he's doing at all times. He's a pretty technical player. He's really aware of his mathematics situations and rule situations, so I'm sure that Kim will uh, Kim will make sure everybody knows what's going on. That was a tough dart right there. He had a chance to freeze, and uh, fortunately, he fell a little short on that one. So we got t uh, Kim right here with the 56. His 16 tops, you would expect. Sales the first one. And a little, little low. low on the second. So here's uh, Brock with the 69. See where he goes. 57 for 12. Tom just said the same thing. Trip, trip 19. Now the 16 8 wire, so right? So 8 for tops or 16 for double 16. John says Chris better check his math as he recalculated that. So he did get a dart at a double, but oh, that's unable I, to finish. And let's see if George Lane can check out the 100. That's what I was saying. He had a chance to freeze and didn't do it. I wasn't saying that the last dart, I was just saying in that three dart session, he had a chance to freeze after that five kind of. Went twenty twenty, which kept him out of it. Tops, tops. He did go for it. I think that's a shot that's a little safer in soft tip darts and steel tip. That it's a bit of a gamble because it, it's just a little bit smaller of a target. But those doubles are pretty big in soft tip darts, and if you're a confident player, you can hit two of those. It's a tough dart right there. He needs a triple. Yeah. Go, thir go trip 13? He may, but I, I think he's 51 for double 10. I think he just simplifies it to the double 10. 39 32 is never a bad selection, but I think that's more of a three dart selection. Yeah, look at this. Here he goes. The double seven for the win. Ooh, tough dart. But he did freeze. And maybe that's why he selected to go that way, because he knew the single would freeze there. And he's actually absolutely that's why he went that way. Fifty seven because look, he freezes by a point. So Yeah. Smart play. Oh, he went for the eighteen, hit the one. Tough dart right there, but you know, he still got it done, got the two. So in the first game, these guys experienced the freeze rule right off the bat. And he smacks it. For Great job by Tom to sit back, do the math, know what he needed to throw at to freeze him That's if right. he missed. And the problem is if he would have went outside on the double f f seven, he wouldn't have frozen. Well, look where he was at. He was in the fat center of it. He yeah. was aware of that situation. Yeah. It, it... Here we go. First 180. Oh, a little off. Nice opening 125, though. Yeah, we'll take that. Kathy Keller likes the out by Brock. He said, Brock chimes in. He must be listening. He said, I won one. <laughs> Get Breaks the snide, right? Get your little yeah. nerves out there. Yeah. And maybe just more comfortable in the 01. You know, and like we said, first timers, we see a lot of uh, we see a lot of nerves and, and stuff like that. It's, it's not abnormal. We've had a lot of players come in, and and in the first set, they they say it's, a, you know, it's a little more intimidating than, than you realize. I mean, when he's staying on the line, that camera's right above him. The light's on. It's screaming at you. There's lights everywhere. It's uh. It's studio darts, you know. You're you're definitely down there. The lighting is. It's not yeah. like it used to be when we just ran normal luck of the draws here and stuff. It would be dark down there. Everything's bright lights. They're in your face a little bit, and uh, you can feel it. Look a at little. it. Oh, 
right A little there. bit of pressure involved when you're down there on the line. Ashley Joe says go, hubby. Appreciate you checking in on us and uh, having a good time. So 40 viewers as we close in on the two-hour mark here. So appreciate you guys still hanging tough with us as we reach the almost 930 hour. Nice little Friday night. Let's check on the – let's see what the USC is. Pretty cool song. Yeah, they got that, – that, that doesn't go wrong. Can't go wrong right there. As we see another buck 40, three buck 40s in this game. Got uh, USC 17-3 over Utah. Like the sound of that. Nips, I think you got a little cheddar on that game, right? I got a little skin in the game. I'm taking it right to the Baccarat table. Got to love that. Try to double it through a couple times and maybe go make some money on the slot machines. That's a nice last start to leave himself 142. Like reeling from this one right here. That's a little 140. Yep. See another 140 in this leg as Tom finds one. Good shot by Mr. Keller there. Georgie coming off a 140 of his own. Let's see what he does here. There's a little ton right there. Left himself the hard out. 161. To finish. All right, tough darts right here. He got that win, and now he's uh, he's still reeling from that win. Oh, I like his idea. 142. I believe he was going to go trip 17, trip 17 to leave himself tops. So well, Thomas just said Utah 10. They must have just Utah scored. must have just punched it in. Yeah. Or Chris's phone is lagging on that 3G network he's rocking with. Yeah. It's, it's on your Wi-Fi, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, they just uh, it just literally, look, they just said extra point made, so they just literally scored. Just giving you the business a little bit there, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. It's allowed. That's what we do around here. Everybody's fair game. It's when we're not making fun of you around here, you got to be worried. Right. Big last start right there. So they got some work to do to get this down, come back in this game. Uh if you're Brock here, yeah, you just nice little ton. Coming off a win, going forth. There it is, and he right finds there. a ton. So good shot by Brock. Yeah, just get yourself settled back in. And if you get get a chance to win this game, great. If not, just move on to the next one. Tops. Oh, tough dart. To level. Tough second. So that's what's gonna be fun if we get that replay running. We can Ooh, we're gonna have to back that up there as he uh Oh, hold on. Yeah, let it go. Let, uh, well, I don't know if we could catch him. It's, it's too late now. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, there's no way to back it up. 57 to leave double eight. Yeah, that's where I was talking about the intercom. I think that maybe you know the intercom may have been a little faster yeah, like than the walkie stopped, talkie. We could have stopped the board right there. Like the intercom needs to be like right over board one, like up in there, to where they can hear it while they're at the line. Like stop, stop, stop. You know, something like that. I'm, I'm gonna go down there. There's nothing they can do. Yep, Chris gonna go get that straightened out. So it does happen. They just didn't happen to catch it. And by the time he reached for the walkie-talkie, the next player was already on the line firing away. So. We'll see what they decide to do. So a lot of that is when you're off the board with one or more darts in the black ring that maybe didn't register a lot of times, you just want to hit that button before you do pull your darts out. And uh, a lot of times that'll prevent that, but just a just a mistake no big deal 
nothing you can do. It's uh, it would have uh, really been uh, difficult had it affected the freeze rule or anything else like that. That would have made uh, more of a difference. But in that game, I think that that game was destined to be Kim and George anyway. So we see it at one game apiece now. And we see a 90 point score from Brock. So if you're just tuning in or didn't hear earlier, don't forget we do have another stream tomorrow at six o'clock and it should be a real doozy as it's our grudge series final as we're pretty excited to finally close this series out. It took way longer than we had expected as we started it back in June and had a lot of problem with player scheduling and stuff. So, But we're able to finally have it confirmed that tomorrow will be the day it's over. And we'll start that stream off with the giveaway from uh, tonight. Uh, one, uh, one of our lucky donators tonight will win a custom set of darts, as we mentioned earlier. So, Big 121 right there. If you don't have uh, plans for tomorrow, make sure to try to watch that. It should be a really good stream. And, uh, they, yeah, they figured out. They didn't realize. I told him he hit a 12 when he pulled his last dart, when he pulled his darts out because he had one off the board. That's the one thing, difference with steel and soft, like always hit the button first before you pull your darts regardless. Yeah, and that's what I was talking to players about while you were on, uh, while you were down there straightening out. I said that a lot of times that will prevent that. It, it's not every time. There are times you could hit the button and maybe it – clicks a little fast and could still screw you up but most times that'll cover you right ashley joe thank you for the like out there Appreciate cheering, you. On, cheering on her hubs tonight as uh she said go hubby just a few moments ago nice good stroke from george on that first dart as that was a perfectly placed strip 20 yeah and then the next one went it over top it kind of blocked him out a little bit lex to switch downstairs and picks up 99 points Mm, tough two darts right there. Oh, wow. Hardest 21 you ever see. Yeah, you ain't lying. Nine mark. You can see the Shoot the Rapids jersey from uh, back of Mr. Keller there. And uh, that's a tournament. I don't know how many of y'all out there be attending, but. Yeah, that's excellent. coming up too, right? Excellent tournament. I believe it's February the 2nd and 3rd. And uh, they do have a. Uh, CDC uh, qualifier event or a Q-Stool type CDC event there as well. So that's a great event right here in Michigan. Steel tip and uh, gets a great turnout. And if you're looking for something to do in the first weekend of February, I highly recommend that. Finding it right there, a little ton. Take a hundred. You see our first 180 right here? Feels like it. And, and it there is. it is. Great shot by Tom Keller. Let's see if Kimbo can back it up with our second 180. First start. Oh, tough second dart. A lot of times they run in pairs. You see those ton 80s do that. If you remember that match with, uh, I believe it was uh, Travis and... Um, Gary Clark and that opening one of the opening singles games in the uh, all-star matchup with the Ohio team where those guys threw three times during their match back-to-back -back 180s. There were six 180s in that set, and all six of them came back on the heels of another. So it was 180, 180. But both players went back-to-back -back three times in that match. Does it still say 180 when you hit the button on the stream? I don't know because we switched a few things. If right. anyone could confirm, does it still say do we still get the Russell Bray Classic 180 call out there? If anyone could confirm if it does or not. I'm not sure with the new stream deck and the updates if it if that was something that carried over, but I think it does. It doesn't hear it. Okay, I doesn't hear it. All right. <laughs> she corrected herself. 
that's the hard part with them texting and stuff and changing. It, it's hard to top the the bearded dark guys, though. I have to say, uh, yeah, son, doing it, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. for sure. Plus the picture, the live like video of him, I would say he's uh, yeah. he's definitely uh, he's definitely got that one on lock. I think that's a real good one. Yeah, that's that's an OG one for sure. Nice little shot right there from Brock. So they're uh, they're they're in, in control of this. Well, what a great time to to pull the team together. And uh, something we didn't see the other night is uh, you know the, a lot of times you'll see teams just try to rally back. You know where you know you, you gotta yeah you just gotta put it to it like you lose the it. first set you gotta win a second that's all there is to it. It's a new it's a new game. It's an absolute new game at that point. A little Shanghai action right here on the Ooh, 20s. He's going to have a shot at it. He's got one dart for the double. Ooh, tough one. But right there, good little shot. With the freeze, though. Yeah. Not that there's an out for 162, but well, still freeze. Soft tip, not not double out. That's what I said. There's no out for this yet. Yeah. No, not that there's an out for now, 42 does he go, here. Does he go bullseye? No, nah, I think you go trip 14. He's thinking about it. What does he want to do? And he said aside with 11. <laughs> well, uh, probably a trip 14 dart that he yanked a bit. Right. David Delaney in the house. Big perm, my man. What's going on, Moon? David Delaney. Just hit, just hit the single 12 or hit, go back to the 20, right? Yeah, single 12. Don't risk the bust. Oh, got the dogs out there howling tonight. Uh, must have been a, an emergency vehicle when they hear sirens. That's what they do. How we doing out there, Worm? Yeah, trip right. Go went there and hit the triple twelve. So, yep, I think it's a bit safer. And look where trip twelve leaves you on the double eight. A really nice finish. Right. Still got an out here for Georgie. Oh, no, he's oh, frozen. he's froze as well. So, yeah. the old dual freeze move. And then that's the tough too. Like he didn't get it down far enough. So even uh, Kim, no matter what, is if he busts, uh, he's frozen again. Or as a free roll, as we like to call it. Yeah, but there's Tom taking it down. So it's staying solid. Get, keep it up, you know, keeping it in there. To take you see a, a lot more teams win in the one and one and three hole than you do in the in the cricket. There's more have to be a break in the one and three. These guys really evenly match, so it's a lot harder to win from the from the two or four position. Just a score confirmation. That's why it's normally good for me to be down there. I could just do it for them and keep track of it all for them so they could just play darts. You know, sometimes we definitely see with a few minor hiccups today, it would have been decent for them to have an official. It's not 100% necessary, but I think maybe an official would not have hurt tonight just because uh, the board setting up when they needed the four scores for the cricket averages. And then we did have the minor hiccup with the. 12 punched in, but all in all, yeah, it's they're not, handling it's, it pretty well done. Yeah, there. it's not like this is uh, something where we're worried about where it's going to cost them the match or anything like that. It's not. No, this is just a, a friendly, if you will. Yeah, a couple of guys, Brock wanting to get on the stream. He's, you know, d over there with Tom. Tom's a big supporter of us, so, of course, we're going to give him a shot with one of his buddies, and, and then it just worked out perfect that Kim and uh, George wanted to come through. Now Katie says, sorry, we're not – <laughs> George worried about the, the freeze rule a bit, so Katie, we weren't talking about you. It's all good. you you need a break too. We all need breaks. I think they're they're just overthinking the freeze rule. It doesn't really come up at all. I mean if you're playing pretty good most times you're not gonna see it too often. <laughs> Abe with a great question. Have these guys even played darts before? Abe Abe says. There's uh, Gordon and Patricia Otto out there. Thanks for the like. We appreciate you out there. How we doing out there, Gordon and Patricia? Some of the faithfuls around here at the MDC, always in with great support. 
uh, both their both their sons have played quite a bit here at the club. Yeah, Ron's on a what nine hundred day heater for work. Oh, I don't know when Ron's next day off is. I think it's the day after Toys for Tots. I think he did take a day off so he can come play the. Uh, Nice 140 right there. Oh, so you're yep. going to play the, the, one, the Toys for Tots on the 13th? Yes, correct. Yeah, that's a good one right there. So he probably day. took the following day off, but he normally works nights, so I don't know how that works, which day he took off, but I think he definitely is going to be able to play that event. Ooh, right there for that 180. We almost got the number two. They're flirting with it. Yeah, I see Katie said, sorry, guys, there. It's no worries, Katie. We're just saying they would have, they probably would have liked the ref. I don't think it was anything we uh, we did wrong at all here today. And Thank you, Alicia, for the $20 donation. We'll get you in there for uh, the 10th and uh, tomorrow's drawing. We appreciate you. Again, for anybody just tuning in, we got the extra giveaway. Anything donated tonight is going to get you into the December 10th giveaway and also. The giveaway tomorrow, we're going to give away a set of the the Galaxy Barrel Darts from either Dan Burke, Alex Spellman, or uh, the Bearded Dart Guy. So just a little extra fun thing for you guys. we got a whole bunch of them darts in, so we want to give them away, get them out there. Exactly what Chris said. They look good in the case, but they look better in somebody's uh, hand throwing them. I really like those. Uh, the Spellmans are nice. I, I, you know, I, I do too. I, I haven't thrown those yet. I've thrown the Bergs because they've been, uh, a few of the sets have been purchased. So the guys will throw them and stuff like that. And I was down there with them. And uh, I think all, I think you can't go wrong with any of the three. But um, the Spellman appears to look a little bit more closer to the design of the barrel that I personally throw. Yeah. I, I, I got the Dan Berg, the steel tip ones. I, I, yep. I like them, they're nice. Actually it's sold a nice. sold a set of those this morning. Is uh, my buddy Rob King had pulled up and come by for a little bit, and he was like, "You know what? I see the steel tip Burks are back in stock. Let me go ahead and grab those." So he did. Absolutely, Rob King loves it. Well, he loves our uh, those little darts, the different little things. He, he does. I tell you, Rob can't walk by the case without having to buy something. That, that's what that's what we wanted for. If that's what you need some stuff. It's right there. Yeah. Grab what we, you need. Put have, the put the money in the envelope and walk away. Have a good one. We appreciate the support. Everything helps. Yeah, all that money that gets put that we buy for that, we just order more stuff. So that's all we can do. We just we keep wanting to do. So he's in. He can definitely take the one sixty out right here. Yep, he's gonna need a first start trip twenty. He gets it. it. He needs another. Oh, a little bit low. Stay on the trip twenty. Leave yourself double ten. Yeah, keep yourself away from getting frozen on the opposite way. See, he's over worried about the math. You can see George asking him, "You're safe, George." Yeah, just all you got to do is just get, just keep throwing tons. Yeah, he gets a ton right here. He gets a ton here. He freezes them. Yeah, he, he freezes the opposite way. He's he's worried about it. And yeah, actually, you're exactly right. A ton here would bring their combined score to 184, and they would have Brock froze. I believe Brock's in the four hole, right? It might. It could yeah, be Tom. No, Tom's in the four hole. Brock, Brock went. So now there's a. Uh, 180 well 160 what 83 no nope so he can't he can't freeze no more no longer freeze availability so now tom can uh have a look at this out right here and if tom doesn't get the out he's actually got the opportunity to freeze, freeze george yep. yeah this is where that freeze rule gets kind of kind of tricky 48 here oh he goes for 42 he's got the freeze smart Smart move. Like he, he knows his math. He needs to do what he likes and uh, gets it to where it's a freeze. Well, I think he went 14 there because uh, he was going to leave the bullseye. Possibly. Yeah. But he know. He, he yeah, I mean, with the single. Yeah. But, but he knew the triple was the freeze. Go down there and help them with this freeze roll for a yeah. sec. All right. I'll be back. I'm sorry to keep putting you out. You know how slow I am on those no, stairs. Yeah, Sorry about that. I, they keep having Chris run up and down, but we got to have him go uh, <coughs> explain this freeze rule. I apologize for coughing there. Kimmy, thank you for the $20 Cash App donation. We will have you in tomorrow's drawing as long 
or I'm sorry, not as long, as well as the drawing on December the 10th as well. So good luck and thank you for the support. Abe, I couldn't agree more. It's, it's so easy to figure out. It's it's only confusing if you make it confusing, in my opinion. If you overthink it, it, it can sound confusing. But um, I'm with you, Abe. We've been playing this game so long. It it's, comes natural to us, and it's easy. But it's, it's not something they're exactly used to. So hopefully they uh, – hopefully Chris will give them a, a brief explanation that will help them pan this out. Now, I just want to thank everyone who's been hanging out all night, and thanks for everyone with the don donations tonight. They've been generous, and definitely appreciate that as we're heading to the end of the season here and looking to uh, have a little money ready to kick off season two so we can set it up with some uh, a couple of really nice events we're already working on for January. So gracious for all of y'all out there, whether – you just just tuning in for the first time or here every time. Uh, definitely appreciate all of the love and support. So thank you from all of us here at the MDC. Jacob says you're holding up the match, George. Scott Swanson says, why don't you just put the freeze rule on the board? I, I'm not sure why it's doesn't say that that's actually a really good uh point there scott my man wilson in the house what's going on big mike One second. Oh, Brian Henry, there's the answer. Richard, these guys are all steel tip players, and uh, I don't think they've ever played with the freeze rule before. Um, maybe Kim has, but um, I, the other three players, had, well, actually, Tom has too, but. Uh, You do have an out, George. Trip 20, trip 19, double 18. So it's really just George who 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 is a first-timer to the freeze rule. There's Steph checking in with the hey, hey. How we doing out there, Steph? Want to wish you good luck in the ladies' event tomorrow. I know you're going to check that out. It's a great event. It's been going on for uh, quite a few years now, and even with the uh, weekend change for the event, it should be a uh, should be a good turnout, I believe. So, I hope uh, hope you ladies get a good turnout and uh, can enjoy yourselves. And again, Scott Swanson, he said for new players, should set it up that way. It's, uh, as Brian said, the, the settings inside the board, and uh, it'll be a lot to get to it and switch it up right now tonight. But in the future, it's probably something we'll, we'll plan ahead for. That's a good out there. Hi, right, Brock. And uh, Brian Henry says, let's hope so in regards to the ladies having a good turnout, as he's uh, one of the hosts of that event and has been the whole time, so... Did say the ladies' event had a small turnout last year. Was it? Did you guys still do it on a hunting day, uh, opening day last year? Is this the the first year with the with the weekend change? Utah touchdown. Thomas Miller reports. Thank you for that update. All square at seventeen. So let's see if uh, Kim can find his third trip 20 to open this game up with the buck 80. 135, I believe that's his third one. 
Brian Henry says so many tournaments going on during the holidays. You're not wrong about that, brother. It is a uh, full list no matter what state you live in these days. And uh, it, whether people are traveling or home and with the amount of bars and places that, that run Toys for Tots tournaments and all the fundraisers and stuff, it is a very busy time of the season. So a nice 140 from George. We'll see if he'll fire at the 19 next round. Is from 303. It's a lot smarter to start with the 19 as 133 or 171. Both leave you in real good positions, mathematically speaking. Where 140 is no good, it'll leave you at 163. But 133 will leave you on the big fish, 170, which we would love to see that taken out on the stream. So we'll see how savvy his mathematics are as it comes around to his turn here shortly. Good turn from Brock as he picks up 117 there. And here comes George. Let's see if he's going to fire at the 133 here, the 171. Only way to leave it out if you go 20s is the 180. So he's going to have to hit all three. He's got a shot. And he does just that. Why well, go 133 if you can just throw the buck 80? Great shot, Georgie. As we see our second 180 of the set. Tom only picking up 22 there, so opportunity for uh, George and Kim to pull this even as they can create some separation. Abe, Katie, and Cat all enjoying that shot as they all say great shot for George there, and I have to agree. Never a bad time for a 180. The Brian Adams song. Are they going to give this a skip? So 16 will leave him a bowl. 48 for 18. 30 for 36. I doubt he goes that way, though. He does. He hits the 30 for 36. And he crushes it. What a shot, George. So pulls it even at two. Nice one, two, three finish. So we're tied at two games apiece here. George with a, a 180 in that leg and a one, two, three finish. So I have to say that's a pretty top notch play right there from Georgie. Cassandra says, way to go, babe. And Jacob says, that a boy, George. Steph asks who won the first set, and that would be George and Kim. Katie says, great shot, George. Should be three to two. Is that correct? Thank you for that. Hold on, I'm going to get an update from my uh, partner here in the booth. I will be back live in just a short sec.
Google this Facebook and find it. There's a big, huge win right there. Like I said, he just starts shoots 40s. That's it. As soon as he said, screw it. So we're at threes now? Yeah, 3-3, three, three, yep. I got to step out for just a second. Chris will keep you guys live here. Yeah, here we go. So uh, tied it up 3-3. Three, three. I think they figure out this little bit of freeze is just play shoot 40s, and then they don't have to worry about it. Jacob Bryan is out there, says, yes, solid. Nice shot from Max Brown, says. Another huge win out for George. What a shot is correct. Buffy's out there saying, get it, George. I'm pretty sure Buffy, if I remember right, uh, Gunner is uh, is related to you, and uh, he's going to be coming out on the, on the 10th, right? So uh, that'll be fun. There's a nice little 180 from Brock, I think. Yeah, Brock smashing the 180. Nice. It's a good way to start. <laughs> Cat saying, oops, I thought I said cat. Cat, everybody say hi. No big deal. Nanny says, sweet George. Brent says he's out at Lodge Lane to the 2A off, but a great night. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying it as well. Okay, Buffy says that's her son. Awesome. Glad to get him out there. Uh, he's really happy to be out there. That's awesome. We, uh, we, we like to see new guys out there for sure. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I had I was talking about that earlier. Where uh, Buff had uh, sent in and said she was looking forward to watching her son on the stream. So we're really looking forward to meeting him and having him. And uh, from what I hear, he's quite the player. So and I, I'm not going to say it, Buffy, but I think that makes us kind of old when our our sons are able to start come playing on the stream in the the, the dark club. Well, you know, <laughs> none of us getting any younger, brother. No, you know how that goes. Absolutely, we all got them kids that age. Another nice one there from uh, Brock. He's play, he's starting to get in his little groove for this game, too. Yeah, after a 180 and then backs it up with a couple more trip 20s, averaging over 50 points a round or 50 points a dart. So he said he's going to take it from those guys. Like, I'm, I'm done losing this. I, I need to hit my shit, too. As we've reached the 10 o'clock hour. Eric Bowers, how are we doing out there, my man? Uh, thanks for the thanks light. Thanks for the light. Brent's over there uh, quoting uh, Joe Pesci with the two Utes. <laughs> I watched that movie the other day. That movie cracks me up all the time. My cousin Vinny, man. It's a classic. Torme. Yeah, she was good in that, too. These guys are starting to find the rhythm a bit now. Is uh, We've got one of the players averaging over 50 points of dart and his partner over 30, so... Yeah, and Danny says, come on, Kim, get her done. See if he can find another big round on the 20s here. Brock's really starting to come oh, into his tough, own here. darts. Gannon says, Jerry and him can a shocker that Brian and Jerry got lined up again in another tournament. Hey, <laughs> those guys out there getting it done. Absolutely. He says they're sitting king seat, too. Gotta love that. Good luck, guys. Hope we smash it out. Take that win. I'm not sure what the skill shot is at, but uh, that's probably why they're there. That little skill shot gets up there pretty good. And when you playing steel is fun. Do you go up to 20 again when you hit 1-1, one, one, or do you go to the Yeah, 19s? absolutely. Yeah, but I, I, it, wouldn't, it won't leave an out, though. So, But neither would uh, 57. Or, no, it would have left them at 66. So... I'm Neither just saying way more so you don't want three. You know, oh, I'm, yeah, yeah. You're saying so he doesn't get one, one, one. I yeah, got you. Yeah. We were just talking about this uh, the other day about the one, one, like screaming. Yeah, I say sometimes I just might throw out the trip 14. I will guarantee myself not a three. Might have to stabilize the board. I know it's been a little rocky the last stream or two. Well, you got to remember, though, too. George, tips. Is, George is throwing brand new tips and uh, the new darts, so it might just be going a little harder into the board so that his darts stick. Good point. Because it only seems to be happening. With Who's George. that, Brock on 86, correct? Yeah, Brock's on 86, yeah. 
So Tom right here, well, I, I guess uh, George isn't uh, on and out either, so you just got to get it down. Sounds like it. All right, well, 144, not bad. Kind of saves himself from uh, going from there. Tough dart right there. Just stick with it, get it down. All right, here we go with Brock with the 86 out. A uh, couple different ways to go. 54, 36, or 54, 32. Stay there. And now he's got the double bowl for the win. Let's see if he goes for it. And he misses barely. What a nice look. A little high. I mean, he's in the bullseye range, though. Kim just trying to get it down here so he uh, doesn't freeze his partner, possibly. Tom's looking at 144 out. The exact out Michael Van Gerwen took out for his uh, nine dart out in the finals the other day. <laughs> yeah, Jaime still hasn't painted that 16. Now switch down to the 18 or 16s. And he does. Yeah, this is where they uh a little confusing for them for sure. No matter what he does. I think we just let him uh All right, just get it down. Here we go. Brock's on 25. He almost almost took the double bowl out with the last round. So let's see him clean it up right here. Maybe we'll use the uh, controllable lighting to signify to them, hey, George, if the Big red shot, light's right? on, you're froze. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. That's a good idea. Just click the black It's a lot of work, though. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Kathy with the whoop. Kathy liking it as it, it's. I'm going to say Tom and, and, and although it's only four to three, I feel like Tom and Brock have pretty much had control of this set the entire time. Yeah, absolutely. Just like George and, and Kim had control of the first set. Right. This one's a lot closer. But it sure feels like, like when it when it gets down to the nitty gritty here, that that Tom and Brock should be, at least in a little bit of a lead. Absolutely, Tom says, "Great job, Brock." One another one eighty right here. Oh, sleeks over to the trip one. One two three. The Northville special, as we used to call it. Anybody used to bet horses out there at the Northville Downs. I used to play that poker room over there in Northville Downs. Me too. I used, I used Me to too. Kill that thing. It's yeah, I went there. Uh, they had a uh, World Series of Poker qualifier where yeah. it was uh, 250 bucks standard, and they and uh, first prize was a uh, ten thousand dollar ticket to the main event. Yeah. I That's right. It, I came up short. I finished seventeenth. Nice. I bet you it's crazy. We probably were around the same. I probably play, I think I played in that qualifier. You might not even realize we were sitting. There were so many people. Yeah, we would. I mean, I know you longer than I. Yeah. Than it's been since I played there, but right. I mean, it, yeah, I just came in. One thing I did like is I was like, man, with that big entry, it was way easier to bluff, man. Everybody was playing so tight. I was like, I wasn't used to that. You usually go to a poker room and it's like yeah, you're getting calling station by yeah. everybody. Yeah. They're calling you with fifth pair. Yeah, and there, uh, it was, it was not that at all. I mean, you could, you could definitely scoop some pots. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of those charity rooms are still around. There's a couple of them. I haven't, I haven't really gone to the charity rooms lately. I just try and mess with the MGM now. That game's pretty good down there. It's a fun place to play. I was always a Motor City guy myself. Well, but. it just switched, unfortunately. Motor City was the place forever, and then I don't know how it happened. I think something happened where Motor City had to shut their poker room down for a minute, and then MGM just, like, took it, it, po – poker players are fickle. Yeah. They can't play somewhere. They'll jump somewhere else, and then MGM just stuck to it. 
Miss Miller says that. That's pretty funny. She says, just like we the football days, mom is in the stand yelling, that's my boy. Well, that's, that's my, my son. boy. Yeah, she's not wrong. He's uh, he's really uh, been kind of leading the way here in this whole one set. Tom's playing well, well with him, is, but uh, Brock's been doing his thing in this, uh, all, all through this 501 set. Absolutely. He's uh, I think the nerves are wearing off a little bit for him, you know, like I got a first set under his belt. And, uh, or the beer's kicking in one or the other. Right? I don't think he's drinking. Oh, no, he might not be actually yeah, yeah, drove. Yeah. They, yeah. Like, and they were talking about, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not because they uh, George and Kim, they were doing those uh, little shots and uh, he said, no, thank you. So we all know Tom doesn't drink. So some guys don't drink. That's fine. You know, like, yeah. that, like that's the whole key, right, is getting. Sober darts are better darts anyways, I think. If you can get good playing sober, you can do a lot. Yeah, I have to admit, a lot of people play great darts sober. I'm just not one of them. Howard says boo shooting straight smoke. I agree. It's good to see somebody new coming in, then, you know, just getting the nerves away and just start smashing the board. Yeah, enjoy. We just hope they have a good time. You know, that's, uh, that's our goal when you come in. We hope you have a good time. We like... Uh, like to see you play well and enjoy yourself, and uh, so far he seems to be doing both. Absolutely, there's Tom with the big 140 right there. And I think it's distracted George maybe a bit that he's more worried about figuring out the freeze rule than than concentrating on wearing cricket. George was. I would say the hottest player in the match during the cricket sets. He was just Absolutely. burning it up. And here he seems to be a little more worried about the mathematics and the freeze rule. And, and I think I it's tried. got him slightly distracted. That's what I tried to tell him. Like right now, he, like if he goes 180, you freeze him, but that's it. You know, 171, 90. He's definitely nine. overthinking it. You really don't have to put this much into it. You know, you just go ahead, you throw your darts, and if you froze, you froze. Yeah, that's what I – yeah, that's what I tell him. Just get it down. Like that's the best way to do it. You just you can't worry about trying to freeze the other team unless you're close to freezing the other team. If you have to hit a 180 to freeze the team, you just go hit the 180. There's a big shot right there. Well, it's a good thing in the tiebreaker set, it's one score per team. Right. <laughs> right. There is no freeze rule in the tiebreaker set. Right. <laughs> For the win, one dart, double 20. And he gets it. Take a 5-3 lead right there. This is the tough one right here for sure. You know, just getting that off your chest, just play some darts, and then worry about the freeze at the end. Yeah, and there's literally no reason to be worried about it too much and, until the, the last couple darts of the game, it could come into play. But Yeah, I feel like that they're making it more into play because they're so worried about it, and then they're not focused on the darts. Exactly. Is that Eye of the Tiger right here down there? Maybe not. Another one bites the dust, maybe? Yeah, I'm having a hard time. I got to say, I do like this crowd because they don't have it jamming. Most of the time, I feel like the neighbors can hear it on both sides of the house. I had to turn it down. I had to turn it down the other day. I went over Wednesday. I went over there and just... It does get a little thing. loud. If it's the good music, you don't mind. But when the bad music's going, you're like, all right, turn that down. <laughs> True story. I feel like a dad in the car, like, all right, turn your music down. I'll let you listen to it for 15 minutes. That's it.
So let's see what Brock does from 474 here. Yeah, he had a, a little bit of a bad round the first one right there. So, again, the grouping was really great. I'm sure he'll take that 60 piece. Probably want a little more, but definitely could have been worse. Absolutely. Just keep getting it down, and that's all you have to worry about. Nice 140 right there. Absolutely. Kayla says that uh, Kim shirt drips. It's uh, definitely a nice shirt, a little Hawaiian shirt with a Christmas theme to it. Kim always comes with some swag, I will say. And he said that he's in the works with his custom right now with Josh. Oh, I knew he would not mess around. He he's... said he was having some problems with the website. I said, listen, don't even go through the website. Just contact Josh, you know, through Messenger and tell him what you want. He'll work with it. You know, I same thing happened to me when I went in there to do my custom for the ref. <laughs> <laughs> yeah y'all sound like the parents that turn that crap down <laughs> hey maybe we are we maybe are probably we are. that way i am that way with my daughter sometimes when she's in the car i'm like what is this shit we're hardest on the on the country music absolutely yeah ave's music i'm a little harder on ava with her music than scotty actually some of scotty i i can i like his uh a little better as he uh nice shot right there more of a little baby guy or payroll Giovanni. A couple of stations I can relate to. You see Kim get himself a handful there. Tom's taking this one off a little bit. There's a nice little trip 20. Get himself back in it. But George is definitely taking this one, this game over right here. Yeah, well, averaging 39.75 will do that. Uh, George is over there going to pull his hair out, trying to figure out if he's froze or not because right. he's at 24, 319. Yeah, but at 5, he, 523, he, he there's no have, possible yeah, way. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't no, do it. Can, so. There's no possible way. Now, if you butcher that 24, that's another story. Right. Because <laughs> the next time around, you could be. Right. You're safe, Georgie. I almost – would. Is there a way to put that, like, where you can say freeze on there, like, you know how they do in Rabbit? Brian Henry jumped in and, and said that um, it's a setting that goes on from the inside of the machine. But after this, I think that from now on we're going to set it up so that is an option, so it does tell the players. Yeah, it's probably the best way to do it. It doesn't matter if, yeah. it, you know, absolutely. It's just, especially when we're bringing guys in from the don't, that don't really play that that often. Uh, Kev will be here tomorrow, right? Kev can go on that board and switch it. He knows what to do. Yep. Oh, Kev's all business tomorrow. We don't want to bug the guys coming in to shoot. You know what I mean? I want Kev to come in and, and yeah, just like right, Topsky, right. focus, ready to play. And, you're uh, right. You're right. After the match. After the yep. match. You didn't hear that, Kev. Do it after if you're still on. Katie says she thinks Josh knows how to do it. Josh is probably the only one who knows where the keys is to get in the machine, too. He's, <laughs> right, after he did everything inside, we're like, hey, nobody else is allowed in the machine. If, if, you, if your name ain't Josh, you ain't opening the board up. Yeah, we don't want nothing touched in there. So here comes Brock right now, starting the game out. See what he can do. I got a 140 coming here. Ooh, get downstairs. Soft get that dark. 97. Get that 97, Brock. Right okay, there. Okay, 59, 59. Can Josh do it remotely? <laughs> no one, Josh. He probably can. <laughs> He's got that hardwired now where he can get into the board. That'd be great. There's not much Josh can't do remotely. Absolutely. He was on the computer earlier today working with uh, putting the guys in from the stream earlier in the week. If you s caught any of that action as we had the uh, some of the younger players in here playing and a few of them needed their pictures. So Josh was in in the morning getting those edits together. Nice. Got to love that. Adding them to the website. Yeah, I seen Andrew shared his his picture that he got put up. Got got a little business for the bald head on there, but Brandon as well. Yeah, Lee, that is. No hell, right? Didn't Brandon Lee already have his? No Lee, though they, they were all, all first all timers. Four of them. Yeah, yeah, all yep. four of them. Yeah, even Vargo. Right, right, right. And it was nice to see a few players come in and not use the crossed arms look. You know, right. I feel like everybody's got the, the cross arm look. See what Kim can do here. Nice little 95.
Tom doing a little flirt with the wifey in the stream there. Says hello, my love, and asking how his boy did. Or maybe grandson. I'm not sure who, if Troy's his son or not. I think Troy is the son. So we got George right here just get, trying to get it down. 180 leaves him 140. Correct. <laughs> John, yeah, I try to stay off the camera. I try to stay off the camera. You know, it adds a few pounds, man. That's rough. <laughs> That's rough <laughs> right. on me. I, do I don't need to add anything to this. We got uh, Andy Mills in the house. Nice to see you out there, brother. So uh, Steve said he needs a new pick. So the next time you're running through, bring your whatever you're doing, and uh, we'll get you in another pick. How we doing, Miss Andy, out there? Always good to see you. One of our top supporters always. Ah, look at that. Brian Henry sent us the cheat code on how to get that set up there. So maybe we will set that up tomorrow beforehand. Just show them where, where that uh Oh, yeah. Re the settings. Re league setup and then league freeze rule display. Yeah, there we go. And Perfect. The rest of the pictures on the walkthrough there. So, so thank you for that, send Brian. Me that, send me that picture and I'll go down there. No, no, we're not going to do it during the match. Can't we? We can still go in the league mode and do that, right? Yeah, I don't want to do it during the match. They've only got a couple games to go, and if they go into the tie break, they're going to just play one score per team. Right, that's true. So thank you for that, Brian. Speaking of thank yous, let's throw a thank you out to Andy as she just dropped uh, twenty five in the cash app and. We'll get you in for both drawings as well. So we got Absolutely. a set of darts being given away tomorrow. Um, and then uh, that will also put you into the drawing on the 10th for all the prizes. What's up, Jerry Frazier? Jerry Frazier, what's going on, my man? How'd you guys do? You guys still sitting king seat? You guys uh, waiting to play that, or have you played it already? You guys waiting in the finals? How's it going out there? King seat at the lodge, I heard. I'm assuming Jerry's going to get out to the Santa shoot tomorrow as he's had some pretty good success in these uh toys for tot type of tournaments he's uh been on a pretty good run lately him and brian brian goes they might have a three to two odd favorite to pull each other in the tournament you know i bet they'd be happy with that too absolutely yep sitting king seat great nice job so we can definitely take this out right here Got the double 14 right here. Might be a clip at one. And it is. Big shot. What a finish. Thank you for that, Brian. I, I see all the screenshots here, and uh, that's definitely something we'll uh, go down there and get set up, or I'll run it, walk it through with Josh. when. Uh, if, or actually, Josh won't be here tomorrow, but we'll... Uh, before, before we go, when I go clean everything up down there, maybe I'll look at it to see if I can get right in there and, and just do it and have it in yeah, there. Yeah, it, it's... Um, Looks like it's pretty simple in the league yeah. mode. Jacob says, what a damn finish. Absolutely. And look at it now. We're at double nickel, man. Here all squared up with the 55. Yeah, they finally started to just let the darts play. Like, stop. Like, think about it later. George with a 1, 2, 3. And what was that out? I didn't. Uh, 130. Wait, wait, wait. He went what was, 1. one well, he went. 60 and 79. 139. Was that 139? Yeah, 139. Yep. Yeah. yeah, 139. Yeah. UK Mark in the house. What's going on, Mark? What's up, Mark? Nice to see you out there. Cassandra loving the out by George. Yeah, Katie, Katie confirms it was the 139, so that's a good, uh, nice high out here on the stream. Yeah, he's, he's had a couple of them. He had the 124. Yeah, there's, there's yeah, Josh. Speaking of, speaking of the guy, there is Josh Sloan. Probably just getting up, getting ready to make that right. Oh, no, he's at work now already, 1022. Yeah, he said it's been back and forth for him, work and then work, not work a day, and then work. A well, day I and figured not work when we called Katie beforehand that he was uh, he was still sleeping. He must be working. Chad. John Bennett says one thirty nine. He took it out the same way last night. So nice, great shot, hey. John. Nice. Chad Gorby says hello from Lorraine. How we doing out there, Chad? Nice to see you, Chad. Thanks from for the four four zero checking in. And then Katie says, yep, 123, 124, 139. There was a 124 as well? Yeah, he did. He checked the 124 out, yep. That was the one that I was going down. And uh, we just had a 180 right there? 
Uh, Kathy said 180 exclamation point. Clip. Right, we well, must have well, missed it. We must have missed it. I don't even know who it was. It's got to be the guy in 266. Oh, yeah. Katie says no work tonight. Oh, no work again? Yeah, he was telling me last night that they had kind of been miss, hit or miss. Yeah, uh, Abe confirms Tom got another one. Obviously, if, if Kathy's out there saying 180, it's probably, yeah, probably <laughs> safe bet. It's Tom. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Jacob says nice 180, Tom. So that's a dead giveaway. It was Tom's as well. Yeah. Trip 16 here, maybe. Trip your, 19. Uh, yeah. Abe, <laughs> Abe said that one. He needs Abe needs one more 180 to make it 6-6. Six, six. Abe's pretty good at picking the numbers. I'm not going to lie. He's uh, he's done well in the pickums. Anybody got a uh, score update? Last we heard was Utah 17, USC 17. Oh, you boy. You got an update for us? We'll take it. So a little, little loose from Brock there, but nothing to hurt. Is his partner in pretty good shape? He's going to have a shot for 129 most likely. He goes 180 right here, though he freezes. No longer possible. So 129 out for Tom right here. Good time to when your partner's struggling for you to just check it out and get the game over. Move on to the next one. So you want to start 19 here, no matter what. Big first dart. Yep. Big, all right, cleaned himself up nice. He's looking good, but he is going to need a big turn for Brock because the pressure will be – they're at 484, so they got to score about 100 more. So George is going to ask, but the, what you want to do here is not just worry. It, Go yeah, throw just, a 140, yep, and then you're looking down, good. You yep. throw a 140, you're forcing him to 140, and then – Big yeah. first start right here. Just, yeah, focus on getting it down. There's another big one. Hit it again. 180. Here we come. Ooh, 135. Car. He'll take that. Thank you, Denny. Denny Garn updates, at, and so does Rocky at 17-17. Thank you for that. Third quarter. Chris Heffern in as well. Now, if you're Brock, you just settle yourself in and just try and get it down. Like, no big deal. Don't don't fret. David James, the neighbor, sent in a nice little $20 donation to the club here. So, thank you for that, Dave. Oh, nice. Thanks, Dave. Nice to see I, you. I actually activate you in two different raffles, one tomorrow and one on December the 10th. You taught us to see to take over possession for a chance to take the lead. What's up, Brian? Will Hoyt? I didn't even realize that was you. Yeah. How are we doing out there, Brian? Then we got Josh Sloan out there, the, the technical guru. Oh, and he busted. So he must have been frozen. Yeah, he was, he was definitely was frozen. Yep. Yeah. So here we go with George. How are you going to start at the 107? I think it's still. I mean, you know, trip 19, maybe trip 13. I mean, probably trip 20. 17 would leave you 56. I mean, 19. Either uh, way, it's a three dart finish. Yeah. Because you're definitely not going 57 double bull, I wouldn't think. 18 for 32 here, or 10 for 40, obviously. Yeah. Another three-digit finish for George. For a guy that doesn't know how the freeze rule works, he sure can play some soft tip. Yeah, huh? like just get away from worrying about yeah. the freeze and just, just throw leave your darts. George a hundred and anything out, and he's got it. I mean, I I had this set almost written off. I thought at the, at one point because they seemed so distracted by the freeze rule, and now all of a sudden, three outs in a row over a hundred points, and they've got the lead. Yeah, and uh, John Bennett confirms start the 19. 19 yeah. yeah. Nothing you can do when somebody's banging big outs. You just got to keep going. Do do your thing, you know. It is what it is. Cat says. <laughs> George, Abe was liking the George humor there. Well, Brian, it was a pretty good trip. We went to Florida, had a good old time. It was in the 80s the whole time. Got to see my grandma. She's 93. She tells me every time we go down there, when I tell her goodbye, she says, maybe. I can see you later. Well, maybe. So, I hey. Mean, <laughs> she knows. I mean, it she is what it is. She gets Yeah, she's 93. Uh -oh. Touchdown Utah, Jacob confirms. Uh-oh. 
Buffy says, heck yeah, George. Liking that big out. John says he's an old steel player, so. Which is a true story. John's been playing darts a long time. Had, had some success in many a decades, man. That's not easy to do, be good at this game for a really long time. It's, uh, you know, the way the game changes from year to year, it gets tougher and tougher, and the players continue to keep getting better. So it's hard to have continued success in this game, I believe. Absolutely. Yeah, Katie, funny grandmas are great. She's my last living grandma, too. Like, actually, she's my all my grandpas are gone, so, like, she's my last one. Yeah, my grandma was the one you didn't want smoke with at Thanksgiving. Like, you could crack on anybody. You don't try doing it on her because she will bust your chops. Oh, yeah. My, my grandma was yelling at me about the stuff, and I made her plate for Thanksgiving, and she did not like that I didn't put enough stuffing on there. She's like, throw that stuffing down there. Since 1991, John Bennett confirms. Nice. Rocky with the T touchdown Utah update as well. So uh Georgia Kim kinda leading the way on this game here is uh both averaging over forty three. It's Kim at forty six and George behind him at forty three and a half. Yeah, they, I mean, they have the capabilities to just catch fire on these, and this is what happens. And the other two aren't playing bad either, though, 30, 36. No, they're right there in it, yeah. And before that throw, Brock was at a 33. So just keep it up. All, all, we, all Keller can do is just try and get it down, get himself to an out, and go from there. Another 180. There he, it is. He's got the look. Danny, they're buddies. They're definitely got to be buddies. There's no way they don't know each other. Yeah, they, they, they must know each other for sure. 100% they do. Uh, you, were, you weren't in here. You were eating, and Danny said that any time there's another uh, where they both can come out, just let them know they definitely want to get back here. They well, that's the one we're working on that uh, hopefully uh, – hopefully, well, I don't know uh, – Plans to go to the Indiana Bull Shooter, Denny. Uh, how, what's your thoughts on that? You going to uh, the Indy Bull Shooter on January the 14th? Because we got something brewing. We're working on uh, on an event for that day that's going to be singles. Um, and uh, yeah, Chris, sorry, I hit the wrong. I hit the nine mark button instead of the 180 button. So it's it should be right now six 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 180s now. I appreciate you. We'll see what he does in the drip here. One more. And it's not, it wasn't enough to freeze, so uh, Tom can take this out. John confirms they are good buddies. They were just on the phone yesterday, he says. Yeah, and Brian, absolutely. It's always good. To, and she's the greatest person to talk to, too. I could sit there and talk to her for hours and hours and hours, and we'd laugh and have a good old time. Able to bring her a nice care package, and I'm sure she's happy to see you. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, she's happy to see me without that, but that was definitely a bonus for her. Here's him with another big – oh, no, he couldn't take it out that way. I think it masked her out. George is really starting to feel it. Yeah. Just stop focusing on that freeze, and you're good to go. And, and this is a spot where Kim's going to have a shot for a freeze unless we see a big turn from Brock here. 140, well, 171 or 133 would play just as well. So he's able to catch a 117. So that's so. not bad. Like So he's got to get what? He's got to get under one, 120, 122. He's got, so 103 at least. So he needs triple-triple, let's just say. There's, There's one. The first one. And he went That's the, it. He went the other way too. He just did the trip fifteen. Yep, so now uh Tom's frozen, so I think they're starting to figure it out a little well, bit. Well it's it's always easier to add up when one of the players is on a hundred. It makes it much easier right. to spot the freezer roll because now you can see it's one forty three, one six six. Right. Absolutely. So you have to see uh you have to assume George as easy as he makes those three digit arts. Look, he 30, 43 should be no problem, right? 11, yeah, you would 32? Think. Yeah, right. Or three three double tops. What He's been smashing that double 20. George has always been an excellent finisher. Double one, 10. One look at it. Ooh, right inside. If that was 143, he would have took it out. 
Spin those tips, buddy. He's going to drop that board on his face. <laughs> He's just not turning it to the right. right That's yeah. why. He's yeah. just yanking it right Quarter turn, baby. Quarter turn. <laughs> Ooh, tough dart right there. Did they all count? 81? Yeah, 81. Okay. Yeah, yeah it all counted. What happened? Nope. So go back to Heath the Trip 20. Back them all out. Yep. This will be fun to watch. It was right, though. No. Oh, it was all 100. There was no one. So there was no one. There was no one. And I think it was from maybe somehow one of George's turn. It didn't oh, come. yeah. Yeah. When he pulled it. Was George darts. on 10, though? So George is in the right spot. No, so yeah. So. Kim's still exactly where he needs to be at 100. Yeah. Just take it out right here. Triple Trip 20 tw for tops. Tops, tops. Now just a single 20 up there. Now he freezes back again. So All right, hit the button. So it's double five for Georgie. Now, now, do you consider, I know Kim doesn't understand that. Do you consider that a dick move? Like if somebody knows to not hit the button, they just walk away knowing they're froze on two and they can't do anything? Is it a dick move to just walk away, or is it that person's responsibility? Um, I used to. We always called it walk of shame. If my partner had me froze, I used to let him go up there and hit the button. There you if go. I'm on two, and I you you got. We called it the walk of shame. Ooh. Just in in or in essence to kind of discourage them from freezing you again. Right. Go Absolutely. ahead. Yeah. Go get that for yeah, me. You, you know what press I mean? that button. Right. That's the dick move. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is the dick <laughs> move. You're right. Oh, double five for the win. Yeah. To pull even at sixes. Oh, tough dart. But 40 is safe. 40 can go. 40 can go. So they're all confused by this, but it's seven to two. 40 can go. So Kim's figuring that out. Yeah, th this is where they get confused, and it shouldn't be confusing. Because he, it's just two to. George he, would be froze, not him. Right. He has to not look at his own score when he's doing yeah. that. Let's not confuse the viewers, yeah. 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 All right, that's there. all it took. So seven and five, because now we're now we're getting confused. All right. So here we go, seven five. J J All right, here we go. Is the stream skipping? He <laughs> said, "I think it's on Scott's end." It could, it could be. <laughs> you guys having issues with the stream getting a little jumpy? It could be actually. Uh, Josh did warn us that Facebook had been uh, all week. They've been having trouble with the streams. So Big 180 right there. So there it is, 180. We see it. A chance for the nine darter from the four hole. Kev putting all the smoke on me, man. <laughs> yeah, Josh said it's cutting in and out by the Facebook servers. They've been, well, bear with us. You know, sorry that this is happening. Sometimes this happens on a stream. <laughs> Kevin was MFing his phone in recent. Yeah, it's because you got that what that fold phone. That's what it that's the He's problem. No, I don't think he does anymore. I think he backed out. Or didn't he? Maybe he did keep it. I know at one point he thought about uh, giving up on it. Well, I hate to hear that, but it's been quality. Pretty quality play for the most part here. We've saw some great, great darts. There's some excellent finishing from George Lane today. It's, hopefully it's just been recently. It's just cutting. <coughs> Even Facebook's uh, bummed about them taking the time out the freeze roll. Hilarious. Were you guys uh, at, experiencing that the whole time or uh, – is that just recently? <laughs> Kev, the freight train says steel tippers are so smart they can't figure it out if they're froze or not. 
Absolutely. I tell you, game, games one through four was all, we almost had to send one of us down there to to, to walk you through. They've got it now. I feel like the yeah, everybody's still a in there confused, now. Confused, but I think they got it mostly for sure. I don't even have to look to see who wowed that. I guarantee that's Abe. His go to his go to reaction. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Abe gets me with the wow all the time. I, I wouldn't I would be offended if he didn't. Oh, lost the dart there, pulling it out. Hiking it straight back with a, somebody tell him that quarter turn. Another 180 right here. Ooh, right there. Great time for it, too. Yes, he kept went back to Apple. Yeah, I, I can't leave. Well, I can't leave Apple because I, I got kids. I need to be able to track them bitches. Yeah, no, I don't blame you for that. And John Bennett confirms he's been, he, the stream's been cutting in and out on him. Say he's kept says say, he was so in on that. I, I, I changed over, Josh. I changed over. He was. <laughs> He used up all 13 days. He used up 13 days of that 14 day free trial, and he was gone after that. <laughs> right. Thanks for sharing, John Bennett. We appreciate you Thank out there. Thank you, Big John, out there. there. 60 for 38. All right, here's George. He's trying to get it down here. It's a really big turn for George, speaking of the freeze rule. Oh, he's got to get this right here, trip 20. Uh, it's a tough one. So, really, all he needs to do is, uh, is the same thing for Brock. Just get it down. He won't be able to freeze either, so Kim can take this 121 out. David James confirms it's working good now. We appreciate you guys out there letting us know. <laughs> Everybody thought it was just their own phones. They're like, what the hell is going hey, on at, here? At least people have faith in us. They're blaming their own equipment. They're like, I'm not even saying nothing, you know, because <laughs> someone tell George he's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. we got to give give Babe the wow back. So Tom can take this out right here. 51 for 32. 16 for middle. 48 will leave you 18. And he smokes it. Clutch finishing. Tom Keller making it 7-6. Seven, seven games to six. This is a battle back and forth right here. It's a nice way to – this uh, is a good match here, back and forth. And we get a little commentary, a little uh, fun stuff with uh, them uh, not being able to figure out their freeze, so it's kind of comical a little. Not for them so much, but for all of us out here. No, we're all enjoying it. What's up, Tom? How are you out there, Tom Campbell? We got Randy out there for the likes. We appreciate you guys. Randall, another like coming in. Appreciate that as well. Unless maybe that's the one that Chris was reading. Maybe Randy yeah, was, and Randall. Yeah, yeah. John says I get into watching and forget to like and share. So <laughs> yeah, appreciate you taking the time to do that. Absolutely. A little extra exposure. Kev says he's not frozen. Yeah, it's kind of hard to be frozen right now. Kathy Keller, obviously, she forgot to like it, too, because she just gave us the old like. We, oh, there's a nice little 180 from uh, Brock. Buck 80 number eight. I believe I that's how, the amount that I uh, called. So let's see if that holds. Absolutely. I don't think it's going to. I feel like we're going to see uh, a couple more here. Yeah, As maybe this... back to backer right here. No. Well. My man Stewart in the house checking in. What's up, Stewart? What's up, Stewart? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming and joining us uh, in the middle of the night here a little bit. Where are we going into the 10 o'clock? Oh, we're almost at 11 o'clock time. Yeah, we're just over three hours and 15 minutes live as we're at the three hour and 17 minute mark. Jacob Ryan, thanks for the like out there. We appreciate you guys. Dave James says he, re he reset his too. 
Yeah, I think it was more Facebook because it was everybody happening to everybody. Yeah, and we've been reading a lot of articles. Josh sent me a couple articles yesterday or the day before about uh, just the amount of problems Facebook had had literally all week. So a lot of the streamers um, on several different uh, types of streams. That's a final? No, that's in the six minutes left in the third. Utah playing pretty good today. It looks like they're holding on to a seven-point lead. Nice 140 from George Lane. Needed that for sure. I think I want to say George uh, has got great potential to play some soft tip darts with the finishing we've seen. I think uh, if I had any pointers for him, it would be uh, turn your darts slightly to the right when you're pulling them out. Right. And a little better explanation for the freeze rule. And he's ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. And he is ready to go. I, 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 uh, when I went up to him, I told him, I said, you think you're going to be okay? And he said, absolutely not. And then well, I said, okay, well, good luck. <laughs> I love that it's got him confused. Someone who knows the game so well, he's mentored and played with so many players, and he's completely confused down there, no idea what, what's right. going on. It, that tells at least you he's with a true freezer. steel tipper. Like, yeah. he doesn't play a lot of soft tip. Yeah, absolutely. And he had he came out to the uh, freer bar when we had our big uh, summer party. We had a big uh, luck of the draw, and Craig Monroe was guest bartending and stuff like that. And So he's out there. He has had a few events. He's been to Tanya's uh, Toys for Darts or Darts yeah, he for said, Toys. Yeah, he said the family's gone this week, and he's going to the uh, Johnny B. Goods tomorrow, too. George's? Yeah, yeah. George oh, said nice. He's going to make an appearance out there tomorrow. He said, he said the mice are away, so he will play. I like his style. So here we go, 216, starting it off. Tom's just quietly just been just bumming along. Well, in a sense, that's the uh, that's the Tom Keller way around here. Tom's always kind of real chill and just does his thing. He's a very consistent player when he comes here. We've seen uh, seen most of his performance has been consistently pretty good. You know, he's had uh, some great matches. He had a, a good shootout with uh, quite a few players in the Grudge Series. Uh, ultimately, finally losing to, uh, I think he lost to both the Otto brothers, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. I think so. He's gonna want. He's gonna want a grudge match against those two guys. Yeah, he definitely. He had good matches against both of them, and I remember. Uh, I would say he came in against Ronnie as a, a bit of the favorite, at least from the selections by the uh, the viewers. They yeah kind of weren't really showing Ronnie the, the the love. A lot of us around here know how good Ronnie can be, and we see a lot of it. But I I think uh, from a viewer standpoint, it seemed like a lot of them kind of weren't really giving Ronnie quite 156. the chance. One fifty six. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna see it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right Nearly there. adds another one to his mantle as he just wires the one five six finish to get to the hill. But most likely, he's going to have another crack at that as Tom a little bit back here. Ooh, he could have left one. Abe said he'll try to explain the freeze rule to him tomorrow. So that's good to hear, right? <laughs> Abe will be out there at the Santa shoot. Nice. Somebody make sure tomorrow that you're telling him a quarter turn to the right when you're pulling those darts out because he's almost hit that board on himself about three times tonight. Yeah, if he's going and if he's going to if he's going to the Santa shoot, they are going to have the same freeze rule in effect. Oh, there's definitely going to be freeze rule in effect. Five hundred one, four scores. That's yeah. I believe yeah. what they play. Yeah. Yep, I'm pretty sure they do too. Big turn for Brock here. One forty would be a great shot. Here we go. Does he, does he uh, get off that twenty? You don't yeah, want just go any right chance to the sixteen. Yeah, just go any right to the sixteen because yeah. if you hit the Trip 16, you got eight. If you hit the single, you got double 20. Just go right at it. Well, just go double eight. <laughs> that was supposed to be the next round. <laughs> Not sure what he was thinking there. Maybe. Uh... Brian Henry says, can you explain it to me as well? <laughs> double nine. And he gets, and he gets it. it. Puts him on the hill. And that's one thing I think you could expect when you when you do see players that are mostly steel tip playing soft tip, they're going to be good at their double. Yeah, they're going to hit them right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, those doubles are way way bigger in, in soft tip than the steel tip. So 
So we got to see. Uh, two, we, gotta, we need Tom right here to just pull this out, well, and then they need a hold and a break. <laughs> Abe says you need to concentrate on not freezing your part. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if they had, they were partners and Abe uh, was frozen by uh, Brian a few times. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, tough little 140 right there. So what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see these two, uh, Tom and uh, Brock, that pull it out and get to the 13 inside? I think Kim's really looking at trying to get that uh, nine darter. He was a little upset that he hit the single 20 on that first dart going for the t trip. He's had a couple opportunities at it. All right, so here we go. Uh, 140 to start with uh, George here. Keep it going because do they finish it off here or can uh, Tom and Brock uh, find a way to pull it out and win this one and then take the next one after that? They got to win them both from the – from the well, they're in the one hole this time. Then they got to win from the two. One holes. hold, one break, and then the, the final game, if it gets to that point, would be a diddle on the 13-inch side. Big 140 right there. What Brock. a shot from Brock. Looked like he could do it 100 times in a row the way through that. Just nice yeah, and nice confident, and great pace, he's good got, shot. He's, he, he's playing well with them darts. Like you said, they're the old schoolers, you know. So sometimes you find a good dart, you want to keep it as long as you can keep it. Nice little ton right there. Just keep it down, you know. Kim's got kind of flirting with that uh, the highest score on the board, you know, being fourth. It's tough when you're the fourth shooter and – you're the high. You and know. I'll tell you what, spe speaking of darts, since the uh, the donations went so well today with all you guys being so generous, uh, obviously getting in the uh, draw tomorrow and on the 10th. But uh, since it went to so well tomorrow, we'll we'll, uh, we'll give away two sets instead. I, oh, I've nice. seen the, uh, um, everybody was pretty generous today. So we'll draw uh, two winners tomorrow. Both of you will have your choice from any of the three players we mentioned, soft or steel tip, and we will ship them out to you. And uh, we'll get them out right away. I, Tough I'll, uh, darts right there. That's awesome. I, uh, yeah. No, really good. Uh, everybody was very generous today, and that really helps us out and uh, gives us some money heading into season two and uh, with big plans for some, some events and, and some money we want to <laughs> kick in and do some things. So I Josh look says to they it. had a chance to freeze George on that third <laughs> dart. <laughs> everybody shot fires at these. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's a great thing to do. I mean, obviously, if uh, Scott's throwing another set out there, we really appreciate you guys, and uh, that's what we try to do, just give back. Um, that's, you, you guys make us what we are. You know, we come here yep. and we put it on here, we do this, but if it wasn't for you guys, we would uh, just be talking to ourselves. Yeah, and all those tickets will have another chance to win on the 10th as well. So, can uh... – yeah, we got some great stuff. Obviously, great stuff going on with that, with the giveaways, the free streams, and some of these new guys out there, if you donated for the first time and uh, – you know, get in there. They have the stream. We have the the custom. There's another 180 right there. I think Katie said nine. I'm pretty sure she spouted out the nine. I think she did. I said seven or eight. Jacob says uh, George and Kim have this, so uh, they're say he's saying no way that they well, come back. Not to beat a dead horse, but George could be frozen here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean Kim. Kim needs a big shot right here. One forty is good because they ties it to one six five. But if Kim right. has a bad shot here, he's in trouble. Oh, there, yeah, that. He went to eighteen. He was gonna go one seventy two. Right, that's not one seventy. Well, one sixty two. But I know what you yeah. meant. Yeah, yeah. You know, my math sometimes is off when I jump fast. So George at seventy four should have a look, but Keller can freeze here. Tough first start. Needs another one. 281 is not enough. 74 for the match. George is confirmed. He is not frozen. We've seen some excellent finishing from George today. Oh, 
tough darts. There's that uh, announcer jinx. The announcer jinx. <laughs> it might be. Spin it, George. <laughs> Yeah, he's not. He's used gonna to yank that. one of them segments out. <laughs> yeah. right. Take the whole board down. <laughs> Just the segment, you know. <laughs> right. the fat twenty comes out. All right, here's Kim again. He's really got to have a good round here. Yeah, at he, least get to the under the one twenty or right, right at one twenty. One forty is what you really need here. Without he a one forty right here, in. you're in trouble. Yeah, you're. Uh, you, he George is froze. Well, now Tom's got to get under forty. So yep. just thirty nine. So 60, 16, if he goes above the wire, 60 will give you the freeze no matter what. Free right. roll at the double 18. Double 18 for the win to Free get roll. it to 8 7. Free roll. Uh, tough dart. At least he, at least he, I'd, I'd rather be a little short in the four than hit the single 18. I like that. Yeah, you know, no, like, it was free roll no yeah. matter how you look at it. There's George realizing he's frozen. <laughs> And you could see just the enthusiasm of his throw right there. It's just, he does not really like this rule. <laughs> right. He does not like the freeze whatsoever. So let's see if Brock can take out this Shanghai finish here. First one. Now, there it is. Look for the Shanghai. And he gets it. What a shot. So we see another big finish. This one from Brock as he takes out the Shanghai finish on the 20s. Buffy says, thanks. That's awesome, Scott. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Thank you guys out there. You guys are real generous tonight. And uh, dude, like I said, it helps us out heading into the new season with uh, some of the plans. And, you know, and uh, one way to get players to drive a long way to come here and play is uh, kick some money in that payout. Yeah. And then and then also, like, you guys donating and stuff like that. That still crazy to me to think that one lady came in and donated. We were like, what is this? What's this $10 donation for? And then that blew up, and then we haven't seen her since. At, like, yeah, no. After that, we, uh, yeah, we pretty much had just decided to start, you know, buying some prizes at the beginning of the month and run a little giveaway. And uh, yeah, it helps us helps us put money into the payouts. It help like it helps you guys giving this stuff away. Like we just want to give everything back to you guys. That's like this was the whole stream was bring some darts, get some people playing darts because we love to do it. And then give back like that's it like we just that's the only thing we're here for obviously we don't take it we don't take nothing out of it like, yep we try to try to think everybody wins it is nice that uh when we have problems here at the stream though having a little little mdc bank account being able to go replace uh things that go bad here that uh that's always a nice feature too so knock on wood we haven't it, really had to have any big it expenses helps us, uh, it helps us every which way we were a little worried when we had the uh power outage remember we we thought oh, we had yeah. fried uh, a couple of the cards and stuff Josh says he really wants to see the 13 inside. Me too, me too. I think everybody does. And then Wallace Michael says tighten that. I think he said he meant to send, uh, the, tighten that shirt up. Does he get to tuck his shirt? No, in? shit. I, I, I think know, he made me just, through, yeah, uh, giving a little joke. Through a, and then Jacob says 24-17 at the third quarter. Utah. Big time for Brock. Being in a four hole there, that's a really big shot. Absolutely. Let's see how this goes. George's hair is starting to look like that guy with the visor, you know, the visor hat, the visor hair yeah. hat. <laughs> and you can see the static electricity is pretty high down there in the basement. Kim's just ready to rock. Look at him back there. Yeah, he's ready to go. He wants to end this. He doesn't want to go. I'm, I'm sure George and Kim don't want to go to the 13-inch. They just want to finish this off right here. Well, you started. You want to win the games you start. Big third dart from Kim. Let's see if Brock can follow his opening round with a ton and with another. And a three, three-figured score goes a long way here. That's a big trip right there. Yeah, he picks up 85. Or 81, I'm sorry. George says he's having a great time. We appreciate it. We're glad okay. to see. That, that's what we want. This is what we want people to come here, have a great time, and uh, play it's some It's been darts. fun to watch. George, is, uh, he's put on a, a, a an exhibition of, of finishing here. He's uh, very, very played well in his in his end game. Absolutely. We had talked earlier that this set looked like Tom and uh, Brock had control the whole way, and even though they're right here, could still nip this set. Right. Yeah. They, uh, in the last few games, it's been uh, it's been a little bit more George and Kim kind of holding control here. 
and that's what happens too sometimes when you're not playing as good where somebody's kind of five bucks says kim goes 19s on this turn no bet oh, Ooh, should have took it should have should have bet He's a mathematician, though. He's, he sees that. <laughs> yeah, 171 to leave yeah. 140, I thought yeah. for sure. But he's also playing for the dub, you know, so. Yeah, and he's also worried about the freeze. So, like, yeah. they're, they're all worried about the freeze. <laughs> right. I haven't talked about Frozen so much since the Elsa movie came out, man. It's right, like, exactly. God. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good comedy, right? Like, something, that, something different that we can run across and have a good chuckle about. Definitely. So he just wants to see him get it down here. Let's see if Georgie can find a triple here. He does. Can he find another for 160? Oh, the wrong side. Now Tom. Now, now we're looking at Tom. Tom really needs to get down, so he's not freezing. Tom's got a 140 coming here. <laughs> Jacob says, "Make like frozen and let it go." <laughs> uh, that was a good one for sure. Big first dart right here. Huge. One more. All right. Well, they're, they're so 133. Wouldn't surprise me if that went out the way these uh, three three digit scores have been disappearing down there. Absolutely. Tough second dart right there. Deflected right out into there. sure all right so tom really needs to get it down right here for sure you got to expect that he will i mean tom's been veteran here around the club and uh usually finding a way to get that big shot at the right time Ooh, another score from utah so 27 17 i told you that was my one fear utah <laughs> All righty, Chris is going to go downstairs and uh, get with the players for the last minute or two here. It uh, looks as though the match could be coming to an end. I won't count these guys out just yet, but it uh starting to look like this could be last call here. So Georgie from 118 here. Trip 20 first start. First or second dart. Expect an 18 here. Tops for the set and the match. <sighs> Top yellow button down there. Yeah. So if you're Tom here, up against it for sure, but you never want to throw the towel in just yet. So let's see if he can manage to scrape up a big score. Stewart says, great stream, gents. An excellent match. Appreciate you. It was definitely a fun stream tonight. And don't forget to tune in early tomorrow, guys, as we'll be drawn for that two lucky winners. And we'll give away a couple sets of darts tomorrow. And I'll get all the... Uh, drawing player uh, drawing updated for uh next saturday as well on my birthday event so i'm gonna get a shut down here and talk to the players a lot of them have a long ride home so i want to do a little player meeting and thank the guys for coming but uh thank you for everybody chiming in and all the help and uh appreciate the generous donations tonight and two lucky winners tomorrow so you don't have to watch it to win if uh if you're a winner i'll uh We'll tag you at a poll, shoot you an inbox, get your uh, where you want your prize sent to, and uh, we'll get that out right away. So thank you, everyone. We appreciate you all, and uh, hope to see you tomorrow. We go live at 6 o'clock, and we got our Grudge Series finals, which should be one heck of a battle as uh, Kevin and uh, Topsky will take each other on in a best of three sets, double in, double out, with the 501 split bowl and cricket as well. So.